presidential election. Herrera Butler was one of the 10 GOP members of Congress who voted to impeach then-President Trump following the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says Crimea is Ukrainian and we will never give it up. He spoke after explosions rocked a Russian air base on Crimea, killing one person and injuring others. He didn't directly refer to the explosions, but one of his senior advisors said Kyiv had nothing to do with the blasts. Albuquerque police say the murders of four Muslim men may have been motivated by an interpersonal conflict. Police confirmed Tuesday that Mohammed Syed had been arrested and is being charged with two of the four homicides. Guad Venegas with more. The chief of police here says the suspect is originally from Afghanistan and came to the United States several years ago. He added he has misdemeanors on his record for domestic violence and also informed that they are working on finding possible motives for the actions. Officers say detectives will continue to work with the district attorney's office on potential charges for the other two murders, one of which happened last November. They said Syed may have known all of the victims. Michael Kastner, NBC News Radio. The latest news and interesting views on your Kentucky Wildcats. That's what we serve up each day here on the Leach Report. Hi, I'm Tom Leach, the voice of the Wildcats, inviting you to join me each weekday for our show. We'll get the local perspective on the Cats, plus an incredible array of national voices. You're not going to find a better lineup of guests than what we feature each day here on the Leach Report Radio Network. Make it a part of your daily routine, and you'll know what all of your fellow Big Blue fans are talking about. It's Big Blue news and views each day on the Leach Report Radio Network. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting A Teenager Learning the Lingo GOAT, G-O-A-T Acronym stands for Greatest of All Time As in spaghetti sandwiches for dinner? They're my fave Dad, you're the GOAT You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same Visit AdoptUSKids.org Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Adopt U.S. Kids and the Ad Council Facebook messages are being used to charge a mother and her daughter who had an abortion. Trey Thomas explains. Nebraska police were given a tip that the then 17-year-old girl had taken an abortion pill with the help of her mother. Authorities issued a warrant to Facebook to turn over messages between the two. Those messages revealed the girl had taken the abortion pill and had a miscarriage at around 23 weeks, three weeks past Nebraska's 20-week abortion ban. A key inflation reading is due out this morning. Brian Shook with more. The July Consumer Price Index report is expected to show a slight slowdown in inflation rates that have soared to highs not seen in decades. Analysts are saying there's a strong likelihood of reasonably good news. The CPI is also expected to provide clues about further steps the Federal Reserve can be expected to take in its fight to curb inflation. I'm Brian Shook. The Los Angeles City Council has approved a ban on homeless encampments near schools or daycare centers. Tuesday's 11 to 3 vote came after police cleared protesters from the council chamber, making at least one arrest. The measure prohibits homeless encampments within 500 feet of schools and daycare centers. Taylor Swift is filing a motion in response to a 2017 copyright lawsuit claiming that she stole the lyrics for her 2014 hit Shake It Off. 3LW claimed that the pop star copied from their 2001 song Play Is Gonna Play. In a sworn declaration this week, Swift stated that the lyrics to the song were written entirely by her. The case was initially thrown out in 2018 but resurrected in 2021 by an appeals panel. Michael Kastner, NBC News Radio. This is a Hometown Radio Network information update. The sounds of school fill the air here in central Kentucky as five area schools head back today, meaning most kids are back in school in some form or fashion beginning today in our area. Boyle County, Danville Christian Academy, Garrett County, Mercer County, and Lincoln County all welcome back students for their 2022-23 school year today. Casey County will open up tomorrow. Danville opens up a week from today.
Last week was a busy one for the city of Danville just simply because of the number of boil water advisories they had to issue. From July 29th through August the 4th, the city of Danville issued five different boil water advisories, and now the city wants to make sure you know if and when there's a boil water advisory in your area. While the city does always put these on Facebook, not everyone is on Facebook, so know that there are multiple ways that you can find out about boil water advisories. First, customers can visit the city of Danville website. That's DanvilleKY.org, where notifications are displayed at the top of the page. Secondly, you can sign up for Civic Ready Alerts from Boyle County's website. That's BoyleCountyKY.gov. Or you can check alerts on the City of Danville's app and click on the city website. And as always, if you have questions, contact the Danville Water Treatment Plant at 238-1241. I'm Joe Mathis. We're so excited, nice weather's here, and we're going to wet our plants. <laughs> Buddy Beaver here, mulch to go, now has rock to go. Yes, we've been busy little beavers and expanded to add landscape, rocks, and topsoil compost to more. We have a wide selection to choose from in both bulk and bags. Stop by mulch to go for your landscape needs from pine nuggets, pine straw, cedar, cypress, and playground chips, too. Mulch to go opens at 9 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Call 325-5858. They're located in Harrodsburg on the corner of 127 and Beaumont Avenue across from the old Spirit Chevrolet dealership. I'm tired of working on my old worn-out farm equipment. Hey, have you been over to County Equipment yet? No, where's that at? There's the guys over at Exit 48 off the Bluegrass Parkway. Well, I can't afford to buy new equipment. They got the biggest selection of used equipment I've seen anywhere. Stop by County Equipment and check out their large selection of no-till seed drill, hay equipment, manure spreaders, and three-point attachment. Give them a call at 502-839-7373. Countyequipment.com. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. Stay in the know with NBC News, Kentucky Network News, and local news here on FM 99.5 and AM 1420. WHBN, The Rooster. The WHBN weather forecast is brought to you by Silver Star Gun and Ammo in Harrodsburg. They buy, sell, or trade. Silver Star Gun and Ammo in Harrodsburg, across from the Mercer County Library on Lexington Street. We are going to see a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon o'clock today. Uh, let's see. Let me do something. Just hang on with me. Just a minute. Oh. That's supposed to be so off. patches on my bridges. Oh. Get your patches out of here, thank you. <laughs> oh, let's see. Hang on just a second. That was supposed to turn that off. Okay. Now, let's get back to the weather forecast again. It says, we've got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon o'clock today, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after one. Some storms could produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy high of 82 for tonight, a 50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall months between a quarter and half an inch possible. For Thursday, mostly cloudy, gradually becoming sunny, high of 82. Thursday night, partly cloudy, low of 63. Sunny on Friday, high of 79. Sunny Saturday, high of 80. Mostly sunny Sunday, high of 80. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for Monday, partly sunny, high of 79. Scattered showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, partly sunny, high of 81. Right now, under partly cloudy skies, we have 71 degrees in Harrodsburg at 609 and a half. Good Wednesday, hump day to you. It's the 10th day of August. Radio Rick, glad to have you along. Thanking you so much for making us a part of your Wednesday morning on WHBN, AM and FM, World Wide Web at hometownlive.net and cktv.net channel 2 all right if you want to see the inner workings of what goes on in the background and see why I've got a face for radio there you go you can find all that out birthdays anniversaries road situations and song requests can be done at 859-734-4321-734-4321 that number still works to register somebody for the DQ ice cream cake giveaway Friday morning before 10 o'clock for those that are birthday between the 8th and 14th. I just need a name and a number like Daphne Massey, Adele Greenberg. We have Haley Peyton Baker and Steve Watts registered for the DQ ice cream cake. All right. 
Birthdays for today. Rusty Rothwell, Katie Lay, Charlie Parks, Paulie Grayson, Rebecca Allier, and Ali Sebastian all celebrating. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Martina McBride. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much, Martina. Appreciate that. All right. Now, kids, for the DQ Today Is quiz, all you need to do is remember after 7.30 after the news, when I ask for it, after the 7.30 news, if you can give me one of what today is, then you will pick up a DQ prize, all right? Today is National S'mores Day, National Duran Duran Appreciation Day, National Spoil Your Dog Day, National Lazy Day, International Vlogging Day, Smithsonian Day, and World Lion Day. You know, all you have to do is remember one of those, all right? And you could be a winner. All right. So, celebrate those accordingly. And that leaves me to give you your life hack. Want Google to only return search results with the most current information? Type after 2022 at the end of your search. All right. After semicolon 2022. Try that and see if it works. Got a couple positive thoughts for you today. Start, start every day with a grateful heart. And the scariest moment is always before you start. And uh, we are going to start to make our way towards Friday morning. We light that fuse, kids, and start another weekend. We'll get there together. We've made it halfway through the work week, all right? So sit back, relax, and hold on. We're going to go for it today. Who's going to do my banking? Who's going to write my blogs? Who's going to do the cooking on Taco Wednesday? Hump day. Wednesday. Hump day. Trash day. All right. Wednesday. This is Back to Work Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesdays only. Woo! Wednesday. 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 Hum, hum, hum day. Wednesday. 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 I see trees of green. Red roses too I see them blue For me and you And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see skies of blue And clouds of white Right, blessed day, the dog say goodnight, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces. Of people going by, I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They learn much more than I never knew. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Satchmo, Louis Armstrong, what a wonderful world with you in it on WHBN. Oh, thank you, Satchmo. We're going to find out what's happening right after we find out about this Okie from Muskogee. Merle Haggard, WHBN 615. We don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. We don't take no trips on LSD. 
We don't burn no drop cards down on Main Street. We like living right, being free. We don't make no party out of loving. We like holding hands and pitching woo. We don't let our hair grow long and shaggy. Like the hippies out in San Francisco do. And I'm proud to be a rookie from the school. A place where even squares can have a ball. We still wave old glory down. And white lightning's still the biggest thrill of all. Hey, leather boots are still in style for manly footwear. Beads and Roman sandals won't be seen. Football is still the roughest thing on campus. And the kids, they're still respect the college dean and I'm proud to be an Okie from the school hey press for even squares can have a ball we still wave old glory down at the courthouse and white lightning still the biggest thrill of all and white lightning still the biggest thrill of all. And Muskogee, Oklahoma, USA. The Hag, Merle Haggard, Oki from Muskogee. It is coming up on 618. You are getting it on WHBN AM and FM. Time now to find out what's happening. ABC News. What's happening? That didn't take long. Former President Trump now fundraising off the FBI searching his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida yesterday, urging his supporters in an email blast to, quote, rush in a donation. Meantime, a Trump ally is demanding answers. We're 90 days before an election. The FBI sent agents to the home of a former president, the leading contender to be the nominee for 2024, and I want to know why. South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Tennis star Serena Williams says she's evolving away from competing. The 23-time Grand Slam winner wrote a personal essay for Vogue magazine saying she and her husband want another baby and she doesn't want to be pregnant again as an athlete. And a social media app called Be Real encouraging you to do just that. It sends out a notification at a random time every day giving users just two minutes to post a picture. The idea is to capture real life on the spot, hopefully while fully dressed and not using the bathroom. I'm Derek Dennis, ABC News. ABC News, what's happening? Rated former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida, visited by FBI agents looking for classified documents from Trump's time in the White House. Trump was not there, but the search was authorized by a federal judge. Something that would have required agents to show a crime may have been committed. So long, Olivia Newton-John stars are mourning the loss of the Grammy-winning singer and actress who gave us hits like Physical and You're the One That I Want. She died yesterday after a long battle with breast cancer at 73. Have you noticed gas prices are hovering around $4 a gallon for regular unleaded, and some areas are about a dollar lower than that. Analysts say high prices have pushed down demand, so prices are falling fast. And here's something that's long overdue, self-healing car paint. Scientists in South Korea developing a spray-on coating that interacts with the sun and your car existing paint to fill in scratches and restore the color good as new. Why didn't I think of that? I'm Derek Dennis, ABC News. Thank you, Derek. It is 620. Time now for Joe's Sports Report, NBC Entertainment News. News from our local businesses. Again, we kindly ask that you please get behind all our mom and pop locally owned businesses and support them year round to help them survive. Bottom of the hour, we'll have news from KNN. We will have your weather forecast. We'll have some laughs together, and we'll kick it with Kenneth Riley. Kick off the sports, Joe. 
a judge rules against the LIV golfers. A Browns pro bowler injured and an ex-NFL running back arrested. Those are the headlines on this Wednesday morning. I'm Joe Mathis guiding you through these Wednesday morning sports. We'll start off in golf news where Memphis will not be the site of any on-course clashes between PGA Tour and the Live Golf Series thanks to a federal judge in California. Judge Beth Labson Freeman ruled against LIV golfers Taylor Gooch, Matt Jones, and Hudson Swafford after they fought to force their way into the FedEx Cup playoffs. Last week, the trio jointly filed for a temporary restraining order as a part of a larger antitrust lawsuit against the PGA Tour. The three golfers who defected to the LIV series after already earning enough points to qualify for the playoffs argued they should be allowed to compete in the FedEx playoffs largely because it would cause them irreparable financial harm. The postseason begins Thursday with the FedEx St. Jude Championship at TPC Southwind in Memphis. Freeman's ruling is a significant win for the PGA Tour in what's the first of expected to be a series of legal battles. In the National Football League, Jakeem Grant Jr. became the latest Browns player to sustain an injury during training camp. Grant went down during a pass play in Tuesday's practice with an Achilles injury. A person with knowledge of the injury told USA Today. Grant was immediately attended to by the training staff before being carted off into the facility. ESPN Jake Trotter, NFL Network's Ian Rapoport, were the first to report the nature of the injury and said the team fears Grant suffered a season-ending Achilles tear. A free agent signee from Chicago this past offseason, Grant was expected to give a major boost to the return game, which hasn't produced a touchdown and a kickoff or a punt return since Travis Benjamin in 2015. Staying in the NFL, the Las Vegas Metro Police Department arrested former NFL running back Marshawn Lynch on suspicion of DUI. According to the Metro Police Department, officers conducted a traffic stop at Fairfield Avenue and West Utah Avenue, which is just north of the Las Vegas Strip, for suspected driver impairment. Per police officers, quote, they determined that Lynch was impaired and conducted an arrest. After their investigation, Lynch was taken to the Las Vegas jail and booked for DUI. Staying in the NFL. The Denver Broncos officially have new ownership. The NFL ownership group voted unanimously Tuesday in Minneapolis to approve the sale of the franchise to Walmart heir Robert Walton. The 77-year-old now becomes the wealthiest NFL owner. Scores from around Major League Baseball yesterday, your Cincinnati Reds. They lost 6-2 to the Mets. My Atlanta Braves won 9-7 over the Red Sox. And Ready or Ritz Cleveland Guardians beat the Detroit Tigers 5-2. Those are the headlines on this Wednesday morning. I'm Joe Mathis for the Home town radio network tributes are pouring in for olivia newton john the four-time grammy winning singer died at the age of 73 after a long battle with breast cancer her longtime friend and greece co-star john travolta says he will see her down the road adding she made all of our lives so much better randall kleiser directed greece and called newton john one of a kind and so very kind singer songwriter delta goodrem called her a force for good a force of nature baby won't you come Rapper Fetty Wap's bond is being revoked after he allegedly violated conditions of his pretrial release. Prosecutors say the violation is related to a FaceTime call. That's when he allegedly called the person he was speaking with a rat and displayed what appeared to be a firearm while threatening to kill them. The incident allegedly happened in December 2021, just months after Fetty Wap was charged with trafficking drugs into New York City and Long Island. Britney Spears' duet with legend Elton John is being confirmed and is reportedly coming soon. Hold Me Closer is set to release in the coming days. Reps for both artists sent out an announcement with artwork for the duet that features a rose for Britney and a rocket for Elton. This will be the first time Britney has released new music since her conservatorship was terminated in November of last year. That's entertainment. I'm Natalie Migliori, NBC News Radio. Lawrenceburg Medical Supply, located in Lawrenceburg, sells a total of 14 Medicare chargeable items at 94 Plaza Drive. Some items include blood glucose monitors and supplies, both mail and non-mail order, canes and crutches, commodes, urinals and bedpans, diabetic shoes and inserts, prefabricated, and of course, wheelchair seating and cushions and wheelchairs and accessories standard power. Lawrenceburg Medical Supply, 94 Plaza Drive, 502-839-4557. 
Suttles Tree Care, located in Harrodsburg, specializes in tree removal, tree trimming, shaping, stump removal, anything you need for your trees. Suttles Tree Care can be there for you. Suttles Tree Care does residential and commercial lots, too. When unexpected storms happen, Suttles Tree Care will be there to help. Suttles Tree Care is over 30 years experience, licensed, bonded, and insured. Contact Suttles Tree Care right now to schedule your free estimate at 325-3727 or 612-2445. No tree is too big or small for Suttles Tree Care. So creamy it melts in your mouth. Mom Blakeman's Candy. Mom Blakeman's has made the world's best cream pool candy, and we have been making potato candy. We ship all over the world and have it in many retail stores. You are welcome to stop by our shop in Lancaster to sample or purchase any of our seven flavors of cream pool candy and potato candy. We have a variety of tubs and tins available. Visit our website at momblakemanscandy.com or call 800-542-4607. Good service is just as important as quality. And at B&L Jewelers, you get both competitive prices and exceptional service for every customer. Find the perfect bridal and engagement rings. Or better yet, B&L Jewelers will help you custom design your rings so that you can create something unique to express your love. We carry fine jewelry and watches, including Citizens and Bulaba. Or we can special order whatever you need. We also buy gold and silver. And we offer six months layaway with no fees we do all our jewelry repairs in-house so stop in today for a free jewelry cleaning and diamond inspection on the corner of houstonville road and highway 150 in the danville manor shopping center online at bnljewelers.com find us on facebook If you're looking for a better dental experience, Dr. Jennifer Nichols' goal is always to provide each and every patient with the very best dental care in the most genuine and caring manner possible. Their office is a friendly atmosphere that will immediately put your family at ease. Their professional staff will help you feel welcome and comfortable every time you enter their office as they strive to provide the highest standard of personalized dental care in a gentle and efficient way. For an appointment, visit Dr. Jennifer Nichols. She's on North College Street. Call 734-5111. See how different a dental experience can be with Dr. Jennifer Nichols. There's nothing like a Dollywood summer. Soar through the treetops on Wild Eagle. Explore the wonders of Wildwood Grove. Play all day and then watch the night sky sparkle to life with our new 3D drone and fireworks show, Dollywood's Sweet Summer Nights. Celebrate summer where the beauty of the Smokies connects us. <laughs> Dollywood. Love every moment. Plan your visit at Dollywood.com. Pioneer Playhouse is Kentucky's oldest outdoor theater, and it's right here in Danville. Don't miss our 73rd season, Under the Stars. That's right, Heather. The fun continues at Pioneer Playhouse with a free concert. Friday, August 19th at 8 p.m., Rock and Soul with Horns by Power Play, performing your favorite hits of the 60s, 70s, and beyond. Free, August 19th, starting at 8. Then it's Latin Night with No Rules Banda, August 20th. $12 cover featuring funky, romantic, hot, dancing, happy feet music. No Bruce Bonda, Saturday, August 20th at 8 p.m., $12 cover charge. In case of light rain, shows will continue outdoors. Please bring your raincoat. Pioneer Playhouse is located at 840 Stanford Road in Danville, Kentucky. Reservations must be made online or by calling the box office. For No Rules Bonda. Go to PioneerPlayhouse.com or call 859-236-2747 for tickets. When the sun goes down, the stars come out at Pioneer Playhouse. It's here. It's open. It's what you need to get through your day. It's Starbucks, now in Harrodsburg, located at the Campbellsville University behind the clock tower. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Starbucks, it's the coffee for connoisseurs and the comfort for your daily tours. Starbucks, it's the Kentucky Harrisburg. News Network. 630. The death of a Hardin County woman at the Nelson County Airport remains under investigation.
The victim has been identified as Felicia Denham of Glendale. Denham got out of a plane while it was on the ground Sunday to switch seats with another passenger. Denham accidentally walked into the plane's propeller, which was active. The coroner says she died of blood force trauma. Georgetown police investigating a deadly crash that killed a pedestrian. The victim was hit Monday evening on Champion Way, that's near Lexus Way. A witness administered CPR until paramedics arrived, but the victim later died at Georgetown Community Hospital. The driver of the car remained on the scene. An ongoing burglary investigation leads to the arrest of a third suspect in Madisonville. Ricky Hall of Madisonville is under arrest for burglarizing the Madisonville Electric Department. Christopher Alfred and Kenneth Morris have already been arrested in connection to that case. Senator Mitch McConnell pledging $2 million to help Kentucky residents dealing with opioid addiction. The money will be split between three different organizations across the Commonwealth through the Rural Communities Opioid Response Program. Senator McConnell said he was proud to help Kentuckians fight the growing substance abuse issue. Scooter's Coffee is planning to open two locations in Owensboro, including its first location in the city on East Parish. That location is opening at the end of October. The second location in Owensboro and another in Henderson have yet to be determined. Some Texas Roadhouse restaurants stepping up to the plate to help victims of the flooding in eastern Kentucky. The restaurants donating 100% of yesterday's profits to the Eastern Kentucky Relief Fund. 14 Texas Roadhouse restaurants from Paducah to Ashland participated in yesterday's fundraising effort, as did restaurants in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. I'm Rob Carpenter. This is the Kentucky News Network. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. The WHBN weather forecast is brought to you by Coel Collision Center in Danville on Lebanon Road. After a wreck, tell the tow truck driver to take your vehicle to the experts. Coel Collision Center. We've got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1. Some of the storms could produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy with a high of 82. 50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms tonight, mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall miles between a quarter and half an inch are possible. For Thursday, mostly cloudy. Gradually coming sunny with a high of 82. Thursday night, partly cloudy with a low of 63. Sunny Friday, high of 79. Right now, we have fair skies, 70 degrees in Harrodsburg at 633. Good Wednesday morning to you. It's the 10th day of August. Radio Rick, glad to be with you on WHBN AM and FM, hometownlive.net, and cktv.net channel 2. All right, are you ready for some laughs? We have got, well, where'd they go? Hmm. Oh, my laughs left me. <laughs> okay, stand by just a moment, please, because we're going to have some Jerry Clower, Clower Power, and I don't know where they went to. Uh, let's see if this is... The one I want. Um, no, do, 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 do. That was too long. Let me see how long this one is. Okay. This is called Tater Rides the Moped with Jerry Clower on WHBN. Can you tell I'm stalling just a little bit? <laughs> All right. Jerry is coming up, I promise you, so stand by. All of y'all know that my dearest and closest friend growing up was Marcel Ledbetter. I checked on him the other day. Marcel's still hauling pupwood. And he's got a young boy named Tater. Tater Ledbetter. <laughs> that hips him. Tater loves to go to the wood yard because the man that's the manager of the wood yard owns one of them moped motorcycles. And while they're unloading the pupwood, Old Tater rides a moped. Now he's forbidden to take it outside the wood yard. But this particular day, Tater saw an opening in the fence. And he gave it to good guff. And went right out on the hard road and pulled up to the red light and stopped. 
About that time, a brand new Mercedes Benz pulled out of a brand new showroom, whooped around in the street, one of them $70,000 ones, and pulled up there and stopped at the red light. And the driver looked, and there's Tater on the moped right there. <laughs> Tater leaned over and put his nose on the glass, trying to look in there. <laughs> driver of the Mercedes spooled the window down and Tater stuck his head over in there. Woo! Smell them leather seats. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that dashboard. Looks like the console of a brand new cotton gin. Woo! Look at him. Look at him. Oh, sir, it's the most beautiful car I've ever seen in my life. Fellow said, thank you, young man. Thank you very much. Uh, Tater said, how fast would it go? He said, 120. Woo! 120. <laughs> About that time, a light change. Tater swung back on the moped, and the man took off. And I mean, really show Tater how he could do it, and just left tire tracks in the middle of the road. The man's going along doing about 90, and he sees a speck in his rearview mirror. And the speck's getting closer and closer. And about that time, the speck said, and he passed over here on the left-hand side. <laughs> Man driving the Mercedes said, good gracious, that looked like that little old boy on that moped. <laughs> Ain't no way that could happen. About that time, he saw it coming back. <laughs> he said, it was, have mercy. <laughs> Woo! He done passed me twice. Looked in the rear view mirror, and here he comes again, right at the back of that Mercedes. And he wham, runs into the back bumper. Man slams on brakes, jumps out. Tater had done bent the cooter shell on the back of that car. <laughs> and there he was laying down in the middle of that moped, and parts strode everywhere. The man saw he was breathing and said, oh, son, oh, son, I sure hope you're all right. Is there anything in the world that I can do for you, son? Tater said, yes, sir. You can unhook my suspenders from your side view mirror. <laughs> Jerry Clower, Tater, rides the moped. It is 6.38 time now for us to kick it with Kenneth Riley. It is Ian Anderson's 75th birthday. He's a singer with Jethro Tull. This is called Bungle in the Jungle. Goes out to all you Cincinnati Bengal fans. Walking through forests of palm tree parts Man scoffed at the monkeys who live in their dark tents Down by the water hole, drunk every Friday Eating their nuts, saving their raisins for Sunday Lions and tigers who wait in the shadows They're fast but they're lazy and sleep in green Send the children the night air. Is it so frightening to have me to show?
mountains, put snakes in the grass. He's a lover of life, but a player of pawns. Yes, the king on the sunset lies waiting for dawn to light up his jungle as players resume. The monkeys see willing to strike up the Jethro Tall, Bungle in the Jungle. We celebrate the 75th birthday of singer Ian Anderson with Jethro Tall. We're coming up on 642. You are getting it on WHBN AM and FM. Well, it seems like she just pulled them all from random websites. So you can take these with a grain of salt from a woman who calls herself a holistic life coach. All right. Here are the five tricks, she said, for being hot. Use your hands when you talk. It seems you're more confident, more engaging. Walk around with wet hair. She claims we tend to think people are hotter when their hair is wet. She didn't say where she got that, though. Speak slowly. Take lots of pauses when you talk. Rushing through your words makes you seem insecure. Taking your time makes you seem more relaxed. Smile like you mean it. And have warm body language. When you're generally having a good time, people are attracted to that. And have sensual energy. She defines as being confident in yourself and, quote, letting your energy flow through your body. So there you go. Five tricks to be a holistic life coach to help you. All right. We've got some tricks coming up our sleeve right here. By our locally owned businesses, we would like your kind attention to. We will have your weather forecast and your health report and a whole lot more stuff just for you right here on WHBN AM and FM. Hello? Guess who went out last night? I got hot and worked up, but I'm not the one who went out. It was my air conditioner, and I sure hope it had a good time because I sure didn't. <laughs> I know just the person for you to see. Hensley's Heating and Air. Hensley's Heating and Air? Yes, give them a call right now. What's the number? 859-336-3965. Hensley's Heating and Air. Local. Quick, timely service. 859-336-3965. Do you own a business? If so, save money and time with Farmers National Bank's free business checking. You receive 1,000 free monthly transaction items, free online banking, free bill pay, free e-statements. Plus, you get a free gift at account opening. Call us at 866-888-0220 or stop into one of our convenient locations for assistance. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. $50 $50 minimum deposit at account opening. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi, folks. Mike Gay here. If you're looking for a new opportunity with a company that's growing, then we're looking for you. Megan in Danville is investing $90 million in expanding our facilities, and we need talent. Assemblers, furnace operators, material handlers, CNC machinists, and subassembly operators, we have a spot for you. Come check us out online at www.megit.com forward slash careers. That's megit.com forward slash slash careers. Make it where we enable you to become extraordinary. Here's a commercial that has no other point but to make you hungry. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Double cheeseburger. The double cheeseburger. The double quarter pounder with cheese. The double quarter pounder with cheese. Chicken McNuggets. I'll take a 20 piece please. The crispy chicken sandwich. The crispy chicken sandwich. Filet of fish. The filet of fish. Hot fresh french fries. Visit McDonald's of Danville and Harrodsburg. Their drive-thrus are open. 
Watson's Tractor 2, your local Kubota equipment dealer, wants to help you deliver a job done right. That's why they want you to know that the new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. They have the reliability and durability and versatile lineup to help you do it all. Visit Lawson's Tractor 2 today for all your equipment needs. Lawson's Tractor 2, four miles south of Danville on Highway 127, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. Lawson's Tractor 2. Your Norton Center season is here with Broadway smash hits, Chicago, Hairspray, and Cats, along with country music legends Kathy Mattea and Susie Vargas, 70s rock band The Guess Who, and much more. Tickets on sale now at NortonCenter.com. Hey, folks, this is Duke Owens, general manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at CartownKiaUSA.com. The WHB weather forecast is brought to you by Horn Home Supply, a trusted name for quality, service, and a fair price. For over 40 years, see Matt Horn at Horn Home Supply in Harrodsburg, South College Street. Got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before at noon, and then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1. Some storms could produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy, high of 82. 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight, mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall mass between a quarter and half an inch is possible. Thursday, mostly cloudy, gradually becoming sunny, high of 82, partly cloudy Thursday night, and a low of 63, sunny Friday, high of 79. Right now, we have fair skies, 70 degrees in Harrodsburg at 647. The Inflation Reduction Act just passed by the Senate will not cap insulin costs for Americans with private health coverage. Democrats had hoped to include a measure in the package that would limit the cost of insulin to $35 for patients on Medicare or who have private insurance coverage. Democrats, though, they came up three votes shy after 43 Republican senators voted no. Indiana is now the first state in the U.S. to have lawmakers approve an abortion ban after the U.S. Supreme Court court overturned Roe v. Wade. The ban takes effect September 15th. Under the new legislation, abortions can only be performed in cases of rape and incest within 10 weeks. Other exceptions include protecting the life and physical health of the mother. Pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly is responding, saying it's reassessing its presence in Indiana and will seek to expand elsewhere. Health Update, Sarah Lee Kessler, NBC News Radio. Garth Brooks here. Stay happy and strong and keep your radio dial right here all year long. This is Parable's own Alyssa Ray. I got my start on American Idol. You can get your start weekday morning 6 till 10 with Radio Rick on 99.5 WHBN The Rooster. I just got tired of that same old job Tired of fighting that freeway mob I bet you never thought I'd really go I'd never get as far as Mexico I've even learned to speak the language some Down on the beach drinking coke and rum You wouldn't know me with this gold glow Soaking sun in Mexico You are 
Took a while for me to know what I was looking for, and every heart I ever known just left me wanting more. One. It's called One Good Love, Neil Diamond and Waylon Jennings. And before that, we heard from Eddie Raven. I got Mexico, and I've got the time. It is coming up on 6.55. You're getting it on WHBN AM and FM. Please leave a message at the beep. Hey, it's me, your old pal Fun, checking back in. Listen, we got to get back down to Holiday World and Splash and Safari. 
What do you say? Blasting out of the barn on Thunderbird, high speed splashing on Cheetah Chase, and this summer, they've got a mind-blowing drone and fireworks show every night for six weeks. Tickets are still at HolidayWorld.com. Come on. Oh, the kids want to say something. Go ahead. Pioneer Playhouse is Kentucky's oldest outdoor theater, and it's right here in Danville. Don't miss our 73rd season, Under the Stars. That's right, Heather. The fun continues at Pioneer Playhouse with a free concert. Friday, August 19th at 8 p.m., Rock and Soul with Horns by Power Play, performing your favorite hits of the 60s, 70s, and beyond. Free, August 19th, starting at 8. Then it's Latin Night with No Rules Banda, August 20th. $12 cover featuring funky, romantic, hot, dancing, happy feet music. No Roost Banda, Saturday, August 20th at 8 p.m., $12 cover charge. In case of light rain, shows will continue outdoors. Please bring your raincoat. Pioneer Playhouse is located at 840 Stanford Road in Danville, Kentucky. Reservations must be made online or by calling the box office. For No Rules Banda. Go to PioneerPlayhouse.com or call 859-236-2747 for tickets. When the sun goes down, the stars come out at Pioneer Playhouse. Steak and Shake, located at the Campbellsville University behind the clock tower, now open Monday through Saturdays from 11 to 8. $3.99 double cheeseburger and fries, $3.99. They've got all sorts of milkshakes. They've got fresh grilled burgers that they cook right there on site. Campbellsville University Steak and Shake, located behind the clock tower to the public. You're welcome. We're welcome. I'm welcome. Come on down to the Campbellsville University Steak and Shake, located behind the clock tower, Monday through Saturday from 11 to 8. I'll sizzle you there. A burger and a shake makes life so great at Steak and Shake. The Mercer County Farm Bureau Annual Meeting at Divine's Corn May, 623 Talmadge Mayo Road, Saturday, August 13th, 6 p.m. There'll be food trucks and truck live entertainment from B-Square. It's all free from the Mercer County Farm Bureau Annual Meeting, Saturday, August 13th, 6 p.m. $1,000 worth of door prizes, RSVP at 734-4341. Summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime, 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 some, some. We're all ready for some summertime fun and at a big deal's price. Go to Beach Band Park and Splash Lagoon Water Park with admission tickets just $20. $5 at Big Deals Online Store at HometownLive.net. They're determined and dedicated to providing safe, clean fun for all guests this summer. Beach Band has rides for everyone in the family, including the nationally recognized Kentucky Rumbler Wooden Roller Coaster. There's the whole family ride, the wet adventure down the Whitewater Express. And there's plenty of fun at Splash Lagoon Water Park, a day of summer fun. Plus, included with your admission ticket, you get free parking, free sunscreen, free tubes, all at Beach Band Park in Bowling green just a two-hour drive away so get ready to pack up and go to beach bend park with the mission tickets just 25 dollars for a full day of fun in the sun go to hometownlive.net and click on big deal so shop now shop now buy now also pioneer playhouse tickets now available hey folks this is duke Owens, general manager here at car town kia we have new kias arriving daily and i have over 20 lenders that want to approve you so come see us here at Cartown Kia or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. Sit quietly and we will control all that you hear. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to... Radio Rick in the morning on AM 1420 and 99.5 FM WHPN The Rooster. Thank you so much. Carrie Underwood appreciates the fun and aesthetic of her Denim and Rhinestones album. When you're thinking about naming an album, you have to think about like everything about it, you know, not just like what sounds good or man, I really like this song. So maybe we should make this song the title of the album. It was like, obviously, when you think Dan and Rhinestones, you just get a picture in your head of something. So it was, that was part of it. You know, it's nice when you have like a theme and you can kind of live there, you know, for Cry Pretty. I was, I felt like I was in pink a lot and there was a lot of glitter and stuff like that. So I, I like how like each album kind of has its own look and feel and vibe and aesthetic. Thank you, Carrie. We're coming up on 7 o'clock. 
News from NBC, your local news, weather forecast, T. Bertram Sports Report, Rooster Local Talent Showcase, and a lot more right here on WHP in Harrodsburg, The Rooster. Your community voice since 1955, broadcasting live on AM 1420, now on FM at 99.5, on the World Wide Web at hometownlive.net at 7 o'clock. NBC News Radio, I'm Michael Kastner. Another primary day is in the books, and Wisconsin former President Trump endorsed businessman Tim Michaels, defeated former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Kleefish to secure the Republican nomination for governor. Kleefish was backed by former Vice President Mike Pence. A New York investigation into the Trump family's business practices may hear testimony.
Ed, while batting, miraculously, Jarvis was okay and even more impressive, able to continue playing. But after he made his way to first base, Jarvis realized the pitcher was not fine, breaking into tears. Jarvis interrupted play and made his way to the mound where he embraced Shelton, letting him know he was truly okay. Michael Kastner, NBC News Radio. What a great story. Thank you, Michael. It is 7.05. You're getting it on WHBN AM and FM. World Wide Web at hometownlive.net. Time now for your local news. Brought to you by Stuart Powell Ford, Lincoln Mazda on the bypass. Send down one online at stuartpowell.com. This is a Hometown Radio Network information update. Tickets are officially on sale now for Norton Center for the Arts' 49th show season. Norton Center announced their show lineup earlier this year, a lineup that includes three Broadway musicals, Hairspray, Chicago, and Cats, as well as country music singers Kathy Matea and Susie Boggess. One of the world's best banjo players, Bella Fleck, is also slated to come, as well as rock group Guess Who. You can get tickets at NortonCenter.com. Kentucky State Police say they're still looking for two people lost in the eastern Kentucky flooding. They've been identified as 60-year-old Vanessa Baker and 29-year-old Nancy Cundiff, both of whom were from the Lost Creek community and both whose last area of residence are on Lower River Caney Road. The death total from the flooding stands at 37, though tragic news of the death of a Knott County teenager that was helping clean up debris will move that total to 38. There is good news coming from power restoration efforts, however. Bashir said that right now there are remains about 400 customers without power. That's a number that's way down where it was at 25,000 right after the storms. And we expect sunshine later on this afternoon and temperatures should begin to feel a little bit more comfortable, especially as we head toward the weekend. We're in the low 80s as a high today and tomorrow, but by Friday we're in the upper 70s with lows over the weekend in the evening hours into the 50s. Reporting for the Hometown Radio Network, I'm Joe Mathis. Hi, this is Fred with Stuart Powell Ford here in Danville. And since 1949, Stuart Powell has made it easy for Central Kentuckians to purchase new and pre-owned vehicles by providing quality products and services at a fair price, all while treating our customers like family. What you may not know is that we also purchase vehicles directly from individuals. We pay market value for pre-owned vehicles, and there is never an obligation to purchase another one from us. So stop by and see us here at 225 South Danville Bypass, and we'll make it easy for you to sell it at a fair price while being treated like family. This morning's local news was a service of Stuart Powell Ford Lincoln Mazda on the bypass in Danville and online at stewartpal.com. Hey everybody, this is Derek Gray with the Mercer County Tourist Commission and we are excited to the launch of our new app, Visit Mercer County KY. Head on over to the app store, type in Visit Mercer County KY. You should see the new city logo with the navy background and the white H. Home screen here has attractions, food and drink, lodging, to do events, my plan, login notifications and tutorials. We are excited about the new app and whether you're a local or a visitor, we hope this enhances your experience when you come to Mercer County. You've done the research, invested the money, and bought a new vehicle. Don't stop there. Now protect it with the Line X bed liner and Value Guard undercoating. This is Tim with your locally owned Line X of Danville at 935 Stanford Road. Stop by or call us at 859-209-4033 and ask how we can protect your new purchase. Need a rapid test for COVID-19, strep, or flu? Come to Real Health Primary Care in Danville. Walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 430 in the Southland Plaza, 975 Houstonville Road. Same day appointments. Call 209-2331. 209-2331. The WHBN weather forecast is brought to you by Central Kentucky Mulch and Stone, your landscape supplier. For designer and construction gravel, cut stones, color mulches, straw blankets, and more, located on Dave Co. Drive off the Danville Bypass. we got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1. Some storms could produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy, high of 82. Tonight, 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall mass between a quarter and a half inch possible. Thursday, mostly cloudy, gradually becoming sunny with a high of 82. Partly cloudy Thursday night and a low of 63. Sunny Friday, high of 79. Sunny Saturday, high of 80. Mostly sunny Sunday, high of 80. Scattered showers and thunderstorms on Monday, partly sunny, high of 79. Scattered showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, partly sunny, high of 81. Right now, under fair skies, we have 70 degrees in Harrodsburg at 709 and a half. Good Wednesday hump day to you. It's the 10th day of August. Really, Rick, glad to have you along. Thanking you so much for making us a part of your Wednesday morning on WHBN AM and FM, World Wide Web at hometownlive.net, ckytv.net, channel 2. Birthdays, anniversaries, road situations, and song requests can be done 
859-734-4321-734-4321. That number still works to register uh, register somebody for the DQ Ice Cream Cake Giveaway Friday morning before 10 o'clock. For those having a birthday between the 8th and 14th, they need a name and phone number like Daphne Massey, Adele Greenberg, Haley Payton Baker, and Steve Watts. All celebrating birthdays today. Hey, y'all, this is Neil McCoy. Happy birthday. Hold on, Neil. Wait a minute. That's not today. That's just uh, being registered for the DQ cake. Now, birthdays for today, Neil. Ali Sebastian, Rebecca Oyer, Polly Grayson, Charlie Parks, Katie Lay, Rusty Rothwell. Now you can sing, Neil. Hey, y'all, this is Neil McCoy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Neil. Now, we appreciate you. You got a little ahead of yourself there, but that's okay. All right. Now, kids, remember, coming up after the 730 news, wait till we do it, all right? The DQ Today Is quiz. All you need to do, yeah, I'm giving you the answers. All you got to do is repeat one of them, and here's what today is. National S'mores Day, National Duran Duran Appreciation Day, National Spoil Your Dog Day, National Lazy Day, International Vlogging Day, Smithsonian Day, World Lion Day. Celebrate those accordingly. Your life hack says, want Google to only return search results with the most current information? Type the word after semicolon 2022 at the end of your search. Positive thoughts say this. Start every day with a grateful heart. And the scariest moment is always before you start. But fear not, kids. We've made it halfway through the work week. We will get to Friday morning when we light the fuse, and we will start another weekend together. All right. There we go. Now, let's do it. This is Wednesday. Yeah. Uh-huh. So sick of work, here comes the big Wednesday hum. Need coffee here, cause you are down in the dumps. The coffee maker. One more 
Diamond Rio, one more day. It is 7-16. Time now for Steve Bertram's Sports Report. We'll have the Rooster Local Talent Showcase. News from KN and Bomb of the Hour. Your local news. We'll have your weather forecast. The DQ. Today is quiz. And the good news brought to you by Jamie Dunn's Shelter Insurance. This Steve Bertram Sports Report is a service of Stuart Powell Ford Lincoln Mazda on the Danville Bypass and online at stuartpowell.com. At Stuart Powell Ford Lincoln Mazda, we are proud to be your hometown dealer for many reasons. Selection, service, convenient location, and our people. Your friends, family, and neighbors Since 1949 at Stuart Powell, we make it easy. Stuart Powell Ford Lincoln Mazda. Visit us on the bypass in Danville or online at stuartpowell.com. A judge rules against the LIV golfers. A Browns pro bowler injured and an ex-NFL running back arrested. Those are the headlines on this Wednesday morning. I'm Joe Mathis guiding you through these Wednesday morning sports. We'll start off in golf news where Memphis will not be the site of any on-course clashes between PGA Tour and the Live Golf Series thanks to a federal judge in California. Judge Beth Labson Freeman ruled against LIV golfers Taylor Gooch, Matt Jones, and Hudson Swafford after they fought to force their way into the FedEx Cup playoffs. Last week, the trio jointly filed for a temporary restraining order as a part of a larger antitrust. Fall season is almost here. Hometown Radio will bring you all the exciting action from defending state champion Boyle County in Class 4A, Danville High School in Class 2A. All right, uh, Steve, let's start all over again so we get your full report. How about it? Hello, Central Kentucky. I'm Steve Bertram with Sports. Thank you. Kentucky begins its Bahamas Exhibition Series tonight. The Wildcats, led by National Player of the Year Oscar Shibwe, take on the Dominican Republic National Select Team tonight. All eyes will be on the three freshmen, Chris Livingston, Cason Wallace, and Adam Tiaro, plus transfer Antonio Reeves. Tip-off is set for 7 o'clock on Hometown Radio. Our pregame shows begin at 6.30 for Kentucky basketball on Z105. The 2022 high school football season is almost here. Hometown Radio will bring you all the exciting action from defending state champion Boyle County in Class 4A, Danville High School in Class 2A, and Garrett County and Mercer County both in Class 3A. Part of the Herald-Leader preseason coaches' rankings have been released. Danville is number six in Class 2A, where Beachwood is number one and LCA is second. Paducah Tillman heads up 3A with Belfry second. In Class 1A, Pikeville is first with Raceland number two. In Baseball Tuesday, New York beat Cincinnati again 6-2. The Reds had nine men left on base. Game three starters tonight at Shea Stadium will be Tony Zuch for the Reds against Taiwan Walker for the Mets of Buck Walter. 
Elsewhere in the National League, winners were the Braves, Brewers, Diamondbacks, Nationals, Padres, Phillies, and Rockies. In the American League, Cleveland is tied for first in the Central Division with Minnesota today. The Guardians down the Tigers 5-2, to two, while the Twins were losing to the Dodgers 10-3. to three. Other AL winners were the Angels, Astros, Mariners, and Orioles. The Royals split a doubleheader with the White Sox. Doug Naz caught a night from 7 to 8 on WHIR AM and FM 103.9. That's sports. God bless America. I'm Steve Bertram on the Hometown Radio Network. Good service is just as important as quality. And at B&L Jewelers, you get both competitive prices and exceptional service for every customer. Find the perfect bridal and engagement rings. Or better yet, B&L Jewelers will help you custom design your rings so that you can create something unique to express your love. We carry fine jewelry and watches, including Citizens and Bulova. Or we can special order whatever you need. We also buy gold and silver. And we offer six months layaway with no fees we do all our jewelry repairs in-house so stop in today for a free jewelry cleaning and diamond inspection on the corner of houstonville road and highway 150 in the danville manor shopping center online at bnljewelers.com find us on facebook Continental Refining Company is offering fuel delivery service in our area. As part of this new service, CRC is offering free tank installation for farmers, commercial, and industrial businesses with the purchase of a new tank. Available tank sizes are 550 gallons, 1,100 gallons, and 2,000 gallons. CRC is offering 0% interest for 36 months for new tank purchases. To learn more about CRC's fuel delivery services and free tank installation special, contact Trevor Hurd at 606-416-1733. 606-416-1733. Hey, grab a buddy and head on over to Bright Leaf Golf Resort. Local special of 27 holes with cart for $35 per person. Whole memberships are now available starting at $200. And daily passes can be purchased for $10 per person. The pool hours are from 9 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. A great way to have fun and cool off. Also remember the 19th Hole Restaurant is open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Give them a call at 734-5481 to reserve a tea time. That's 734-5481. Bright Leaf Golf Resort in Harrodsburg on Highway 127. Isaiah House provides holistic substance abuse treatment to help recovering addicts achieve sobriety for a lifetime. We know what that struggle is. We know how bad that is. We know all the damage and the chaos that we created in the past. But the important part is we can show them the solution. Kentucky Medicaid accepted for treatment. Call Isaiah House Treatment Center today, 859-375-9200. Isaiah House Treatment Center, real hope for addiction. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. The Barbershop by Darren Ransdell is a barbershop that offers today's men a haven where they can sit back, relax, and talk sports, politics, or the weather. Located next to Minute Mart on South College Street in Harrodsburg. World-class service begins at the Barbershop in Harrodsburg. Good morning. I'm Larry Sanders. I'd like to welcome you to Rooster Local Talent Showcase. A special thank you to our sponsor, Darren Ransdell at the Barbershop in Harrodsburg, next to Minute Mart. Today, um, this is a sad song for me. This is one of my cousins, and um, she had to succumb to cancer a few years ago. They, it's she and her daughter and son, they were called the Alversons, and they'll be doing Once Up on a Hill. The Barbershop by Darren Ransdell is a barbershop that offers today's men a haven where they can sit back, relax, and talk sports, politics, or the weather. Located next to Minute Mart on South College Street in Harrodsburg. World-class service begins at the Barbershop in Harrodsburg. Open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5.30, Saturday, 7.30 to noon. Queen. 
listening to Rooster Local Talent Showcase. It's a service of Darren Ransdell's Barbershop next to Minute Mart in Harrodsburg. You can be the next Rooster Local Talent Showcase star by bringing your music to WHBN Studios. McElroy Plumbing of Danville. McElroy Plumbing of Danville. They also will work for you in Lancaster, Harrodsburg, Stanford, Perryville, Junction City. You need plumbing done. You want to call Tony McElroy, 859 859- 326-7431. A licensed plumber for over 20 years. Great guy. Gives you a fair price. Call Tony McElroy Plumbing. McElroy Plumbing. 859-326-7431. 326-7431. Throughout its history, Hitachi of Stemo Americas has been synonymous with safety, quality, growth, and continuous improvement. Adhering to these core values has enabled us to succeed as an innovative supplier of world-class products to the global automotive market. With nearly 2,000 employees in Central Kentucky, we are dedicated to exceeding the expectations of our customers. Find out more about our opportunities at careers.hitachi.com. That's careers.hitachi.com. Hitachi of Stemo Americas is an equal opportunity employer. Whitaker Bank is dedicated to providing exceptional banking experiences to our fellow Kentuckians. We live in the communities we serve and we work diligently to serve the needs of our neighbors. This is Rita McIntyre, head teller and branch manager of the South Branch located at 928 South College Street in Harrodsburg. Stop in and let us put our experience and customer service to work for you. Whitaker Bank is Uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. If you use electric appliances in the bathroom, garage, or outdoors, any place where moisture is present, you need a GFCI. The folks at your local electric cooperative want you to know that a GFCI, or ground fault circuit interrupter, will help you use those appliances safely by protecting you from electrical shocks. If you'd like to learn more about GFCIs, call your local electric cooperative. We're Kentucky's electric cooperative, and our power is our people. Intercounty Energy, a touchstone energy cooperative. Subtle Tree Care, located in Harrodsburg, specializes in tree removal, tree trimming, shaping, stump removal, anything you need for your trees. Subtle's Tree Care can be there for you. Subtle's Tree Care does residential and commercial lots, too. When unexpected storms happen, Subtle's Tree Care will be there to help. Subtle's Tree Care is over 30 years experience, licensed, bonded, and insured. Contact Subtle's Tree Care right now to schedule your free estimate at 325-3727 or 612-2445. No tree is too big or small for Subtle's Tree Care. An ongoing burglary investigation leads to the arrest of a third suspect in Madisonville. Ricky Hall of Madisonville is under arrest for burglarizing the Madisonville Electric Department. Christopher Alfred and Kenneth Morris have already been arrested in connection to that case. The death of a Hardin County woman at the Nelson County Airport remains under investigation. The victim has been identified as Felicia Denham of Glendale. Denham got out of a plane while it was on the ground Sunday to switch seats with another passenger. Denham accidentally walked into the plane's propeller, which was active. The coroner says she died of blunt force trauma. Georgetown police investigating a deadly crash that killed a pedestrian. The victim was hit Monday evening on Champion Way that's near Lexus Way. A witness administered CPR until paramedics arrived, but the victim later died at Georgetown Community Hospital. The driver of the car remained on the scene. Senator Mitch McConnell pledging $2 million to help Kentucky residents dealing with opioid addiction. The money will be split between three different organizations across the Commonwealth through the Rural Communities Opioid Response Program. Senator McConnell said he was proud to help Kentuckians fight the growing substance abuse issue. Some Texas Roadhouse restaurants stepping up to the plate to help victims of the flooding in eastern Kentucky. The restaurants donating 100% of yesterday's profits to the Eastern Kentucky Relief Fund. 14 Texas Roadhouse restaurants from Paducah to Ashland participated in yesterday's fundraising effort, as did restaurants in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. Scooter's Coffee is planning to open two locations in Owensboro, including its first location in the city on East Parish. That location is opening at the end of October. The second location in Owensboro and another in Henderson have yet to be determined. I'm Rob Carpenter. This is the Kentucky News Network. 
Big Park, bigger fun, bigger smiles. Beach Bend Park, with classic amusement rides and the famous Kentucky Rumble Roller Coaster, daily shows, games, mini golf, and more. Soak up some sun and take the plunge at Splash Lagoon Water Park with Wave Pool, Lazy River, and exhilarating water slides. Big Park, bigger fun at Beach Bend, where the parking, tubes, and sunscreen are always free. For Cabana reservations, season passes, and savings on tickets, visit beachbend.com. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. It's here. It's open. It's what you need to get through your day. It's Starbucks, now in Harrodsburg, located at the Campbellsville University behind the clock tower. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Starbucks, it's the coffee for connoisseurs and the comfort for your daily tours. Starbucks in Harrodsburg. It's time for the news, all about your neighbors and probably about you. It's your local news, presented by First Financial Bank, Monday through Saturday. What does it mean to believe in something, to truly support and get behind it, to be committed and invested in making sure it succeeds and grows? At First Financial Bank, we go beyond banking, providing resources for dreams that matter and giving back to projects that make a difference. As our family grows, our commitment to serve the community grows with it. First Financial Bank, because together, we're better. First Financial Bank, member FDIC. Located in Harrodsburg at the corner of College and Childs. This is a Hometown Radio Network information update. The sounds of school fill the air here in central Kentucky as five area schools head back today, meaning most kids are back in school in some form or fashion beginning today in our area. Boyle County, Danville Christian Academy, Garrett County, Mercer County, and Lincoln County all welcome back students for their 2022-23 school year today. Casey County will open up tomorrow. Danville opens up a week from today. Last week was a busy one for the city of Danville just simply because of the number of boil water advisories they had to issue. From July 29th through August the 4th, the city of Danville issued five different boil water advisories, and now the city wants to make sure you know if and when there's a boil water advisory in your area. While the city does always put these on Facebook, not everyone is on Facebook, so know that there are multiple ways that you can find out about boil water advisories. First, customers can visit the city of Danville website, that's DanvilleKY.org, where notifications are displayed at the top of the page. Secondly, you can sign up for Civic Ready Alerts from Boyle County's website. That's BoyleCountyKY.gov. Or you can check alerts on the City of Danville's app and click on the City website. And as always, if you have questions, contact the Danville Water Treatment Plant at 238-1241. I'm Joe Mathis. Here are the obituaries. Kathy Ann Murphy, age 57, of Lawrenceburg, died Tuesday. A memorial service is planned for a later date. Saffel House Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Victor Colin Schwartz, age 64, of Harrodsburg, died Friday. He was a veteran of the United States Army. A gathering of friends and family will be Thursday from 5 until 7 at Rainsdale Funeral Chapel. In those today's obituaries on AM 1420 and 99.5 FM, WHBN. What does it mean to believe in something, to truly support and get behind it, to be committed and invested in making sure it succeeds and grows? At First Financial Bank, we go beyond banking, providing resources for dreams that matter and giving back to projects that make a difference. As our family grows, our commitment to serve the community grows with it. First Financial Bank, because together we're better. First Financial Bank, member FDIC. Located in Harrodsburg at the corner of College and Childs. That's the news for today, presented by First Financial Bank. Childs and College in Harrodsburg. The WHB weather forecast is brought to you by the Old Bus Station Restaurant, offering good old-fashioned home cooking, open for breakfast at 6 weekdays and Saturday at 8. The Old Bus Station Restaurant on South Greenville Street in Harrodsburg. we got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon and a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1. Some of the storms can produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy. With a high of 82, 50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms tonight. Mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall months between a quarter and half an inch possible. Thursday, mostly cloudy, gradually becoming sunny. High of 82, partly cloudy Thursday night. 
with a low of 63. Sunny on Friday with a high of 79. Right now we have fair skies, 70 degrees in Harrodsburg at 737. Good Wednesday hump day to you. It's the 10th day of August. Radio Rick, glad to be with you on WHBN AM and FM. On the World Wide Web at HometownLive.net and on CKYTV.net, Channel 2. All right. So that leaves me to tell you it's time for the DQ Today Is Quiz. All right. I have given you, there are seven things today is. All I need is one of them. First in at 734-4321 will receive a half-pound chili burger from DQ where happy tastes Good. All right. If you can name me one of the seven things I've told you twice today is, then you will pick that up. Today was the birthday of Jimmy Dean, country music hall of famer, Big Bad John, and he turned sausage maker. This is called 16 Tons, done by Jimmy Dean. Maybe you've not heard this before. Now, some people say a man made out of mud. But a poor man's made out of muscle and blood Muscle and blood, skin and bone A mind that's weak and a back that's strong You load 16 tons What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Pete, don't you call me I can't go I owe my soul to the company store I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine Grabbed me a shovel and I went to the mine Loaded 16 tons A number nine coal and the straw boss said Well, bless my soul, you load 16 tons What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me I can't go I owe my soul to the company store I was born one morning and it was drizzling rain Fighting and trouble is my middle name Raising the cane, break by an old mama line Ain't no high tone, mama makes me walk to the line You load 16 tons What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me I can't go I owe my soul to the company store If you see me coming better Step aside A lot of men didn't And a lot of men died One fist is iron The other one's steel If the left one don't get you Then the right one will You load 16 tons What do you get? Another day older Deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me I can't go I owe my soul To the company store Jimmy Dean, classic Rerun of the uh, tune, 16 tons, Tennessee Henry Ford obviously made that thing famous, but not a bad version there. Maybe you've not heard that before or for a while, so hope you enjoyed it. Hey, got a winner for the DQ Nearly Impossible Question. The DQ today is quiz. I ask you to name one of the seven things today is. Bill Stewart was the first to end. And uh, mentioned National Lazy Day today. Also is National S'mores Day, National Duran Duran Appreciation Day, National Spoil Your Dog Day, National Lazy Day, International Vlogging Day, Smithsonian Day, and World Lion Day. Thank you, Bill. Thank you all that called in. Thank you, Barbara Montgomery. Without your generosity, we could not do this. So we do appreciate you very much doing that. Hey, got another birthday. Jimmy Dean, by the way, was born in 28 and expired in 2010. Bobby Hatfield was born on this date in 1940. He expired in 2003. Who was Bobby Hatfield? One of the Righteous Brothers. This one is called Rock and Roll Heaven. Listen to some of the names in this song. Jimmy 
Righteous Brothers, Rock and Roll Heaven. We celebrated the uh, birth on this date of one Bobby Hatfield, half of the Righteous Brothers. He was born in 1940, expired 2003. It is 745 and a half. You're getting it on WHBN AM and FM. We've got your tech report and then the good news. Brought to you by Jamie Dunn, Shelter Insurance. Google and Sonos are once again in a legal battle. Google is suing the audio manufacturer over voice control technology alleging infringement on several patents. It's not the first time the companies have been in court. Google lost a previous patent case earlier this year over speaker volume controls. The CEO of the celebrity shout-out app Cameo says someone stole his bored ape non-fungible token, then proceeded to sell it for $130,000. Steve Galanis says his Apple ID was hacked on Saturday and the NFT he spent $320,000 on was taken. The account that stole it and resold it is no longer active on OpenSea, the biggest online NFT marketplace. Galana says other NFTs were also taken, as well as $69,000 worth of ApeCoin cryptocurrency. And Netflix is expanding its push into video games, but few subscribers are playing along. According to app tracker Apptopia, less than 1% of Netflix subscribers are playing games. Tech Report, Mark Mayfield, NBC News Radio. Congratulations, you're having a little girl. At that moment, everything changed. Our hopes and dreams for ourselves were instantly replaced by our hopes and dreams for her. We got life insurance policies from Shelter Insurance, so that regardless of what life throws at us, we'll still be able to provide the world to her. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. I'm Jamie Dunn, your local shelter insurance agent. We're your shield, we're your shelter. Thank you, Jamie, for bringing us the good news, and here it is. A couple in North Carolina took a trip to celebrate their second anniversary, bought a lottery ticket, and hit it for 100000 bucks. What a great anniversary present. A girl recently went through basic training at Fort Jackson in South Carolina. She didn't know her dad was coming to her graduation until he showed up to surprise her. Now a video her sister got of it's going viral. 
The site GasBuddy.com says the average price of gas just fell below $4 for the first time since March. As of yesterday, AAA had it at 403 You can check out today's numbers. Uh, for uh, in case you missed this, at least four people have now been cured of HIV using bone marrow transplants, and the most recent one happened by chance. A 66-year-old guy who had been living with HIV since the 80s was being treated for leukemia, being treated for leukemia, and the, the marrow came from a donor who happened to have a mutation that makes them naturally resistant to HIV, so he was cured accidentally. And that is the good news, courtesy of this man right here. I'm Jamie Dunn, your local shelter insurance agent. We're your shield, we're your shelter. Rising prices are everywhere, from the gas pump to your electric bill. Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives understand that these times are challenging. That is why we're doing all we can to keep your rates competitive and service reliable. We also have programs that provide options to help you manage your bill. To learn more about what we're doing for you, go to TogetherWeSaveKY.com. Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. TogetherWeSaveKY.com. The hometown place where all the locals eat is the old bus station in downtown Harrisburg. The fresh veggies and sides, the famous banana soft serve ice cream, all make it a great place to eat with family and friends. Stop in for a breakfast or come by for lunch. Be sure to get a Titan burger or a bulldog burger. And when the weather is nice, enjoy a meal on the outdoor patio. Specials every day. Call ahead for carryout. Located in Harrisburg on South Greenville Street, the old bus station restaurant. Open Monday through Thursday, 7 to 2. Friday, 7 to 8. Saturdays, 8 to 2. And Sundays, 11 to 2. Hi folks, Mike Gay here. If you're looking for a new opportunity with a company that's growing, then we're looking for you. Megan in Danville is investing $90 million in expanding our facilities and we need talent. Assemblers, furnace operators, material handlers, CNC machinists, and sub-assembly operators, we have a spot for you. Come check us out online at www.megat.com forward slash careers. That's megat.com forward slash careers. Megat, where we enable you to become extraordinary. Medical Career and Technical College. College. Jumpstart your career. Take one class at a time and attend just two days a week with locations in Danville, Richmond, and Lexington. The healthcare field needs you more than ever. Enroll in your life changing career today. Call 859 624 1988. 624 1988. Medical Career and Technical College. Jumpstart your career. Here's Robin at the Mercer County Public Library. We are right here at 109 West Lexington Street. Come and visit us Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Be sure and give us a call, 859-734-3680. And if you want to quickly get to a staff member, press 2. Copies, we've reduced the price on that. Any size paper you have, whether it's black and white or whether it's color, it's $0.10 cents per size. At the Mercer County Public Library. The Personal Effects Show, a program that encourages listeners to understand antiques, collectibles, and sometimes just plain junk. The Personal Effects Show airs each Saturday morning on WHBN FM 99.5 and AM 1420 after the 10 o'clock news with Jerry Sampson, your host, who interviews collectors, dealers, experts, and others. The Personal Effects Show is sponsored by the James Harrod Trust, Bluegrass Artworks, and J. Sampson Antiques and Books. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. Your Norton Center season is here with Broadway smash hits, Chicago, Hairspray, and Cats, along with country music legends Kathy Matea and Susie Vargas, 70s rock band The Guess Who, and much more. Tickets on sale now at nortoncenter.com. Unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into... Radio Rick in the morning on WHBN. to 
sweet darling There ain't no getting over me I'll be the bill you forgot to pay I'll be the dream that keeps you awake I'll be the song you know you can tell everyone that we're through and you might even believe it too but darling there ain't no getting over me sweet darling there ain't Sequin gown that she wore in 68 She taught her early how to smile That smile and wave from the parade It took a whole lot of years and tears For a mama to finally admit No matter how many stitches and pins
And that was none other than Faith Hill. Someone else's dream is what we heard from there. And before that, we heard uh, Ronnie Millsap, there's no getting over me. There's no getting over the fact that we have got to take a break. We've got news from NBC coming up, your local news. We've got your weather forecast. We've got Vaught's Views, T. Bertram Sports Report. We'll have Kathy from the Mercer County Health Department, Rock and Robin from the library. We also have coming up uh, the lieutenant governor is going to be joining me, scheduled to join me after 930 news. want to remind you that uh, there was a wreck in Danville on the Perival Road, Danville Bypass. You may want to go around an area that may be closed for a little while. Again, that's Danville Bypass and Perival Road. There's a wreck. Please avoid that area. You're getting it on WHB in Harrodsburg, The Rooster, your community voice since 1955, broadcasting live on AM 1420, now on FM at 99.5, World Wide Web at hometownlive.net. We are powered by Kentucky WiMAX. It's 8 o'clock. NBC News Radio. I'm Michael Kastner. Former President Trump appears to be set to testify today in the New York investigation into his family's business practices. In a post on his Truth Social platform Tuesday, Trump indicated he's in New York City to meet New York Attorney General Letitia James. She's looking into whether or not the Trump organization inflated real estate values. A lawyer for former President Trump says the FBI seized about a dozen boxes in Monday's raid of his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Lawyer Christina Bob. At this point, I don't necessarily think that they would even go to the extent of trying to plant information. I think they just make stuff up and, you know, come up with whatever they want. And that's the way that they will have to proceed in order to actually try to indict the president. Correspondent Von Hilliard is outside Mar-a-Lago this morning and says Trump is also calling the FBI's actions into question this morning. Donald Trump himself put out a statement in which he suggested that perhaps the same, that perhaps there was planting. And I think that needs to come with all of the caveats here is that neither of these individuals, the former president or his lawyer, have presented any evidence to suggest that that would take place. And this is a further effort to undermine faith in America's law enforcement agencies. Another primary election day has come to an end in Wisconsin. Former Trump-endorsed businessman Tim Michaels defeated former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Kleefish to secure the Republican nomination for governor. Elsewhere, Minnesota Representative Elon Omar successfully defended her seat with her Democratic primary challenger conceding. It appears China's military exercises around Taiwan are over for now. Beijing said today that it has completed various tasks around the island nation. However, China also said it plans to conduct regular patrols. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are headed out on vacation today. The president and First Lady will spend nearly a week visiting the Kiowa Island area in South Carolina. Michael Kastner, NBC News Radio. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because our Sleep Number 360 smart bed is really smart. It senses your movement and automatically adjusts to help keep you both comfortable. Plus, it's temperature balancing so you stay cool. It's even smart enough to know exactly how long, how well, and when you slept. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night. Sleep Number takes care of the science. All you have to do is sleep. It's the biggest sale of the year where all smart beds are on sale. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 limited edition smart bed, only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com. Not running your businesses on NetSuite is like trying to sink a putt with a cap pulled over your eyes. NetSuite by Oracle is the number one cloud financial system, giving you visibility and control of your financials, inventory, budgeting, and more, all in one place. 93% of surveyed businesses increase their visibility and control after upgrading to NetSuite. Over 31,000 businesses already use NetSuite. NetSuite has a special financing program for those ready to upgrade at NetSuite.com slash markets. NetSuite.com slash markets. Missouri voters will decide this November whether to make recreational marijuana legal in the state. Trey Thomas reports. Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft announced that enough signatures were collected to place a legislation question on the ballot November 8th. Missourians will vote on possibly changing the state's constitution to allow people over 21 to buy and sell marijuana. If approved, Missouri would become the 20th state to fully legalize cannabis. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell is calling for at least a full year suspension for Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson. More from Brian Shook. 
Goodell said evidence from sexual misconduct allegations against Watson shows egregious actions and predatory behavior. Seeking a harsher penalty under its personal conduct policy, the league last week appealed the six-game suspension handed down to the quarterback by a retired federal judge. Former New Jersey Attorney General Peter Harvey will hear the appeal. There's no timetable on when a ruling will be made. Snapchat is launching a parental control feature called Family Center that allows parents to keep an eye on who their young teens have been chatting with. The app's platform policy and social impact director, Nona Faranik Yedger, says it's an opportunity for a parent and a teen to talk about Snap, online safety, and what it means to connect with people online. What we're really trying to do with Family Center is to offer parents insight into their teens' online behavior, to foster conversations, to develop trust between parents and their teens. This move comes after the company is under scrutiny from many parents after some children bought drugs using the platform. The new Family Center in-app feature shows parents their kids' friends list as well as who they've been messaged by over the last week. Although the app has been implementing safety features in the past, these are the first of its kind tools and are completely voluntary. Michael Kastner, NBC News Radio. This is a Hometown Radio Network information update. The sounds of school fill the air here in central Kentucky as five area schools head back today, meaning most kids are back in school in some form or fashion beginning today in our area. Boyle County, Danville Christian Academy, Garrett County, Mercer County, and Lincoln County all welcome back students for their 2022-23 school year today. Casey County will open up tomorrow. Danville opens up a week from today. Last week was a busy one for the city of Danville just simply because of the number of boil water advisories they had to issue. From July 29th through August the 4th, the city of Danville issued five different boil water advisories, and now the city wants to make sure you know if and when there's a boil water advisory in your area. While the city does always put these on Facebook, not everyone is on Facebook, so know that there are multiple ways that you can find out about boil water advisories. First, customers can visit the city of Danville website. That's DanvilleKY.org, where notifications are displayed at the top of the page. Secondly, you can sign up for Civic Ready Alerts from Boyle County's website. That's BoyleCountyKY.gov. Or you can check alerts on the City of Danville's app and click on the City website. And as always, if you have questions, contact the Danville Water Treatment Plant at 238-1241. I'm Joe Mathis. Almost every small Kentucky town has a go-to restaurant. In Central Kentucky, it's the Brenner Life Cafe in Liberty. If you like a good buffet, you'll love the huge down-home cooking featuring two fully stocked buffet tables or you can order off their extensive menu. You'll find something delicious for every person and family at the Bread of Life Cafe. Visit the gift and sweet shop at the Bread of Life Cafe, 5 miles south of Liberty and 127. Open to late Monday through Thursday, 9, Friday and Saturday. Feed your tummy and your soul at the Bread of Life Cafe and Buffet. It's here. It's new. Filled with the best wide selection of vehicles just for you. Right at Field User Factory. Seven acres of pre-owned elite inventory makes them the largest deal maker around. Right at Field User Factory. So come on down to Nicholsville off US 27 to Vince Drive. Then you've arrived at the new. Right at Field User Factory. Buy with confidence straight from the factory. Take a virtual tour at rightatfieldusefactory.com. This is Goldie Goldsmith-McNary inviting you to join me each week for What's Happening Goldie, a talk show that features interesting people about interesting things. We'll learn how to stay healthy and keep fit, and we'll explore the world of entertainment. So join me for What's Happening Goldie. What's Happening Goldie every Wednesday at 10.05 a.m. and Saturday at 8.30 a.m. on WHBN 1420 a.m. and 99.5 FM. The WHBN weather forecast is brought to you by mulch to go Harrodsburg's home for bulk and bag mulch. 100% natural, no waste wood, local delivery available. Located at the corner of South College Street in Beaumont. We've got a chance, a uh, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1. Some of the storms could produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy with a high of 82. For tonight, 50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall mass between a quarter and half an inch possible. Mostly cloudy on Thursday, gradually becoming sunny with a high of 82. Partly cloudy Thursday night and a low of 63. Sunny Friday, high of 79. Sunny Saturday, high of 80. Mostly sunny Sunday, high of 80. 
Scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday, partly sunny, high of 79. Scattered showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, partly sunny, high of 81. Right now under sunny skies, we have 71 degrees in Harrodsburg at 809. Good Wednesday. This is the 10th day of August. Radio Rick, glad to have along with us. Thanking you so much for making us a part of your Wednesday morning on WHBN AM and FM. World Wide Web at HometownLive.net, CKYTV.net, Channel 2. Birthdays, anniversaries, road situations, and song requests can be done at 859-734-4321. 734-4321. That same number will be the number you call to register somebody for the DQ Ice Cream Cake giveaway Friday morning before 10 a.m. We have uh, taken... uh, Names for birthdays between the 8th and the 14th. we got Daphne Massey, Adele Greenberg, Haley Payton Baker, and Steve Watts all signed up for the DQ ice cream cake. Hi, this is Reba McIntyre. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you and chocolate cake. Thank you, Reba, for the chocolate cake. Birthdays for today. We have... Rusty Rothwell, Katie Lay, Charlie Parks, Polly Grayson, Rebecca Ollier, and Allie Sebastian. She was saying her birthday's too early again. Oh, well. She did it. We did it. That's fine. It's done. All right. Thank you anyway, Reba. Today is National S'mores Day, National Duran Duran Appreciation Day, National Spoil Your Dog Day, National Lazy Day, International Vlogging Day, Smithsonian Day, and World Lion Day. Celebrate those accordingly all right here's your life hack it says want google to only return search results with the most current information type after the word after semicolon 2022 at the end of your search positive thoughts say this start every day with a grateful heart the scariest moment is always before you start all right scariest moment we have is monday morning we've got through that already Tuesday morning, it's Wednesday. Two more days, kids. Friday morning, we light the fuse and start another weekend together. Uh, again, I want to remind you to avoid the area on the Danville Bypass if you happen to be coming over to Danville. And Perival Road, there's been a wreck there. I think they heard that the uh, road's going to be shut down for a little while. And we've got coming up Kathy from the Mercer County Health Department. We've got Rock and Robin from the library. And after 930, scheduled is Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman to be on right here. Oh, yeah. Monday's the worst day of the week. Stay awake, I pinch my cheek. But Wednesday makes my brain feel clearer. Because the week. University of Kentucky Sports is on the air. Featuring seven-time Kentucky Sports Writer of the Year, Larry Vaught. Wasn't it nice that so many people nationally got to find out just how good North Laurel senior Reed Shepard really is when they watched him on ESPN in a game in Las Vegas. Shepard showed why he deserved the Kentucky scholarship offer when he was the best player on the floor against a star-studded opponent that included UK commit Robert Dillingham, a top five guard nationally in the 2023 recruiting class. But it was Shepard who was the star of the game with his normal all-around play where he did a little bit of everything. ESPN National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi worked the game and was impressed with the way Shepard seemed to make the right read on offense and defense every possession. Ben Cardi said there had never been any doubt about Shepard's shooting ability, but his defensive anticipation was impressive. Ben Cardi said Shepard could carry a team with his play or be one of the guys who fits with the main guy. Vaught's Views will return in a moment. I try to be part of the in crowd. I try to be really careful about how I dress, what I do, and who I hang out with. This time of year, 
I'm hanging out with a higher class group. Go! From horse shows to rides, games, food, concerts, exhibits, and more, this year's Kentucky State Fair has everything, so you can do your thing August 18th through 28th. Buy your tickets online and get free parking. Just go to kystatefair.org. ESPN National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi says he knows there was pressure on John Calipari to recruit Reed Shepard because he's a Kentucky kid and the son of two former UK basketball stars. However, Biancardi said he knows Calipari well enough to understand if he didn't think Reed Shepard could help UK win, he would have never offered him a scholarship. Biancardi says Calipari saw something special in Reed Shepard, and after what the North Laurel star did on national TV, a lot of others have now seen the same special play. Find more from Larry at your sports edge. Come. Jan Briscoe from Royalty Florist and Gifts. I still do interior design, so we can help you out with from your home decor. Or we have our own website, royaltyfloraldesigns.com. Go there and some of our own personal designs that can help you select something that's just right for you. Phone number is 734-3339, 734-3339. And our website is royaltyfloraldesigns.com. So any of your major wire services that are out there, contact them, 1-800-FLOWERS, and they'll make sure that we get the order. Hello, Central Kentucky. I'm Steve Bertram with Sports. Kentucky begins its Bahamas Exhibition Series tonight. The Wildcats, led by National Player of the Year Oscar Shibwe, take on the Dominican Republic National Select Team tonight. All eyes will be on the three freshmen, Chris Livingston, Kaysen Wallace, and Adam Tiaro, plus transfer Antonio Reeves. Tip-off is set for 7 o'clock on Hometown Radio. Our pregame shows begin at 6.30 for Kentucky basketball on Z105. The 2022 high school football season is almost here. Hometown Radio will bring you all the exciting action from defending state champion Boyle County in Class 4A, Danville High School in Class 2A, and Garrett County and Mercer County both in Class 3A. Part of the Herald Leader preseason coaches' rankings have been released. Damble is number six in Class 2A, where Beachwood is number one and LCA is second. Paducah Tillman heads up 3A with Belfry second. In Class 1A, Pikeville is first with Raceland number two. In baseball Tuesday, New York beat Cincinnati again 6-2. to two. The Reds had nine men left on base. Game three starters tonight at Shea Stadium will be Tony Zuch for the Reds against Taiwan Walker for the Mets of Buck Walter. Elsewhere in the National League, winners were the Braves, Brewers, Diamondbacks, Nationals, Padres, Phillies, and Rockies. In the American League, Cleveland is tied for first in the Central Division with Minnesota today. The Guardians down the Tigers 5-2 to two, while the Twins were losing to the Dodgers 10-3. to three. Other AL winners were the Angels, Astros, Mariners, and Orioles. The Royals split a doubleheader with the White Sox. Tug Naz caught a night from 7 to 8 on WHIR AM and FM 103.9. That sports. God bless America. I'm Steve Bertram on the Hometown Radio Network. One of the most trusted names in jewelry is B&L Jewelers. For years, we've been helping you and your neighbors say, I love you, happy anniversary, even here's something just because. Tell her you love her with a diamond from B&L Diamond Jewelers. Make her stop and think of the love you both share. Nothing allows you to celebrate the special moments in life like a diamond. Diamonds are the only gift in the whole world that will never fade away with time. They will not rust away and does not require any special care to maintain its brilliant beauty. Diamonds are forever, and 30 years from now, she will still remember that moment when you gave her that diamond no other gift can keep giving like a diamond for years to come stop in for a free jewelry cleaning and inspection and say hello love gets better at bnl jewelers located in the danville manor shopping center love gets better with bnl jewelers 
Campbell's Steak and Shake, located at the Campbellsville University behind the clock tower, now open Monday through Saturdays from 11 to 8. $3.99 double cheeseburger and fries, $3.99. They've got all sorts of milkshakes. They've got fresh grilled burgers that they cook right there on site. Campbellsville University Steak and Shake, located behind the clock tower to the public. You're welcome. We're welcome. I'm welcome. Come on down to the Campbellsville University Steak and Shake, located behind the clock tower, Monday through Saturday from 11 to 8. I'll sizzle you there. A burger and a shake makes life so great at Steak and Shake. Harrisburg Tire and Automotive is a full-service auto center providing a wide range of tire and auto care services. They provide customers with tires of all brands and sizes. Harrisburg Tire and Automotive can accommodate vehicles from small cars to dually trucks. They offer a lot of auto maintenance services, including brakes, front-end work, alignments, engine repairs, computer diagnostics, tune-ups, oil changes, and so much more. North College Street next to Napa. Give them a call, 734-4563, 734-4563 for Harrisburg Tire. Catch these real deals at your Napa of Harrodsburg. Instant rebate. Buy qualifying five quart API motor oil, thirty two ninety nine. Get a max clean free, seventeen ninety nine value. Get a one thousand eight jump starter for seventy four ninety nine. Napa fifteen W forty HD motor oil, thirteen twenty nine a gallon. Save ten bucks when you purchase a pair of Exact Fit beam blades and rear blade. Pro or do it yourself. Napa has the right tools for the right job. Your one stop shop for real savings. Harrodsburg Napa located in North College Street. Save more money by signing up for the Napa Rewards. ADA heating and air. ADA is on the way. Are you ready to spring into summer? Make sure your HVAC system is too. That's right, Kevin. This is Chastity. Haley. And Kevin at ADA Heating and Air. Give us a call at 859-519-6382. Or check us out online at ADAheatingandair.com to schedule maintenance on your HVAC system. ADA is on the way. ADA Heating and Air. ADA is on the way. This WHBN weather forecast is brought to you by Ranstall Funeral Chapel. Our goal is and always will be to provide the best value in funeral service available. Exceptional care from a trusted family name, Ranstall Funeral Chapel. Thank you, Sonny. we got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon. Then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after one. Some of the storms could produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy with a high of 82. 50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall amounts tonight, between a quarter and half an inch possible. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, then... Gradually becoming sunny Ranstall with a high of 82. Partly cloudy tomorrow night and a low of 63. Sunny on Friday and a high of 79 right now. Let's see if we've changed any in the temperature. We have got sunny skies, 72 degrees in Harrodsburg at 821. Ladies and gentlemen, she's back. It's Kathy Aiken from the Mercer County Health Department. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Rick. How are you? I'm doing fine. How is the Aiken and the uh, Mercer County Health Department family doing? Pretty good. Good. We are in the heat of our renovation. We yeah. started last week. Um, had lots of surprises. You know Ooh. how it is when you yep. start tearing things out. Um, and so we're moving forward with that. So if you come in to see us, please be patient. We've got lots going on in our building. Yes. Uh Yep, always, uh, it's always fun whenever you renovate, whether it's at your uh, workplace or even home. That's even more surprising sometimes what you find. Yeah, it's um, we'll be doing some work outside too, so um, kind of keep an eye out for our crew um, that we tearing up a little bit of our parking lot. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, not that we were anticipating that, but so just be patient and yeah. kind of keep your eyes open about where we're where you're coming in. So. There you go. A word of warning. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. Be kind to us because yep. yep. we're a little bit frazzled. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, and it'll get better. Yeah, it will. It will. It'll be it's worth It's exciting it. uh, to get a facelift. So. Yes. I could, I could probably use one of those, too. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, what's going on in the health world we need to know about, Kathy? Uh, I know last week we had talked a little bit about monkeypox. Yeah. And I was not uh, prepared. Today I am. Okay. I have some um, nice slides to go over, some tip, tips. Um, so monkeypox, for symptoms, it's flu-like symptoms with fever and swollen lymph nodes. So that's one of the markers is the swollen lymph nodes to watch for if you think you've got monkeypox. And they'll be painful, pus-filled bumps or sores in the mouth or on other parts of the body. So what do you do if you think you've been exposed? You want to contact your local health department or health care provider. 
um, to discuss options you might have to prevent the illness. Those options are going to be uh, antivirals, and then it would be uh, talking about vaccinating your close contact people. So um, if you have symptoms, you want to isolate from others, covers the sores or rashes, rashes, and then, like I said, talk to your doctor. To protect yourself, you want to avoid skin-to-skin contact with anyone who has symptoms. Talk openly with partners before close contact. Clean your hands, objects, and surfaces, and clothes if you've encountered someone with symptoms. Then how do you catch it? That's always the big concern, right? right? So it is close physical contact with a person with symptoms, including skin to skin contact, face to face contact, kissing and sex, touching bedding, clothing, towels or other objects that touch an infected person's skin or body fluids. So I believe the um take home message is to be candid with partners and then um and and family members so um you know if you think that you may have been exposed or if you think the rash or um pustule sore that you have is a monkeypox then by all means talk to your doctor about it talk to your doctor yeah it's just like when you're not feeling well oh okay. i'll just get better well That's right. don't put it off that's right, because most things that you have, um, you caught from somebody else, right? Outside yeah. of diseases and conditions, you know, you don't catch diabetes. But if you've got a cold um, or a virus, you caught it from someone else. And so if you can catch it, then someone else can get it from you. So, um, you know, you want to, if you're sick, stay at the house and we've got lots of covid going on um it's right now we're at a 14 percent positivity rate and that is for people who have gone to the doctor we are only counting uh health care provided tests so none of the home tests and none of the people who aren't even going you know that they're not sick enough to go to the doctor so just know that we have lots of covid And if you're not feeling well, if you must be out, um, we don't want you to be out, but if you think you need to be out when you're not feeling well, then wear a mask because we know that that stops the spread. And we're coming up on flu season. Um, We're getting ready to get our flu vaccine in, and we'll be doing flu vaccinations. And so come on over for your flu shot, too. And, Kathy, just remind people again, uh, just because you got a COVID shot does not cover you for flu. You need to go in, Absolutely. especially if you've gotten a flu shot for several years, you need to continue to get that. Absolutely. Two separate viruses. Um, one is an influenza virus and the other is a coronavirus. So um, they do not cover one another. But we have both. Um, we will have a vaccine for both of those. Actually, we have, I think, now seven different kinds of COVID vaccines. Um, and so... Uh, you know, we've got them. We'll give you the shot. We're going to continue to do Friday mornings, I'm assuming, all the way through the end of the year. And so um, it seems to work really well for us. We did close our lobby, so you'll have to stay in your car when you come in just like before. Um, we just don't want people in and out of the building with all this renovation going on. Yeah. You know, if you have a regular appointment, you can still come in. But as far as people coming to just sit inside um, when you get your shot, we're not going to do that anymore. So okay. um, we have we will have the flu shot. I'll let you all know when we get the flu shots in. Uh, but right now, excuse me, we have the COVID shots, and we're happy to shoot you. And you can get the COVID and the flu shot at the same time, correct? You can, yes. So people don't have to make two trips to the That's right. get that done. That's right, yeah. And we've got, you know, if you've got children in your life, we've got all of their immunizations that they might need. You can come in, um, call and get an appointment, and we can get your child ready for school. You know, school started today here in Mercer County. Uh, so, you know, if your child isn't up to date, they will get a note from school that says you can't come back until you've had your shots. So we have all of the childhood immunizations here. You can just give us a call and we'll set you up an appointment. 
Um, what else? Oh, we're also doing, I don't know if we talked about this before, we have our Spanish interpreter here. Um, she's Right now she's here on the second Tuesday of every month, um, and she'll set up appointments and then come with you if needed for your appointment. And so yesterday was a fantastic day. She uh, signed up several people for appointments, and then she also um, worked with some of the other programs, the uh, SNAPS program and the um, Medicaid program. So um, anything that you need her for, she is here and available, and that's the second Tuesday of the month. Very good. Mm-hmm. What about for the the little kids? You know, I'm um, five and under about the uh, shot. Have you got that that uh, COVID? Yes. yes, we have the uh, COVID vaccine for the little people, um, and we have um, we have a couple of different kinds. Um, and so, you know, we still have the Moderna, the Pfizer. Um, I don't know if we have any Johnson and Johnson anymore. I think uh, the powers that be have decided that that did not give as good a coverage. And then there is a new one, and I cannot remember the name of that one. Novo, I don't remember what it was, what the name of it is. But it is made like they make the flu shot. It is manufactured in the same manner as uh, the flu shot, as opposed to the mRNA um, manufacturing of the Moderna and the Pfizer. So if you know, if your hesitation about getting the vaccine was because of the way it was made, uh, now we have that traditional vaccination, traditional vaccine, too. So. How is that being received by parents? Are they are they a lot of questions? Are they have concerns about getting their their kids the COVID shots? Some parents do, um, but you know we vaccinate our children for all of the other diseases. You know measles, mumps, rubella, uh, whoop and cough. Um, let's see, diphtheria, tetanus. So uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. So you know I think that. Uh, in my mind, at least, I was willing to vaccinate my kids for all of those other ones, and that my kids also get the flu vaccine every year. Mm-hmm. And so if I can prevent them from getting very ill, uh, then I'm going to do that. And, and I know that getting that vaccine does that. And actually, I have, I have two kids. They both had their shots, and one of my kids got sick with COVID, and the other one did not, apparently running around on the farm dealing with cow poop all the time has made my little boy so tough he didn't get COVID. (laughs) Oh, wow. So, um, but my little girl got it, and she was not very sick with it. She felt bad for maybe a day. And and like I said before, I believe that, um, you know, having those vaccines is what kept us from really getting sick. Very good. Yep. But you know we have all we have all kinds of vaccines. We you know measles is a horrible disease, and it kills. It used to kill a lot of people. It still does in, in countries that don't have the vaccine. Um, mumps is just rotten. Rubella is rotten. That's German measles. Um, so you know we have lots of things that we can prevent, and so you know we like we want you to do that. It keeps it keeps everybody from getting sick when we when we vaccinate. It keeps the numbers down. And that's why you got the like kids uh, at Thanksgiving. They go to to grandma's or whatever. They you know everybody goes places Christmas time, mm-hmm. and that's when the flu kind of gets spread because everybody goes different places and they all come back and they sort of it's like wildfire just keeps that's spreading. Right. Right. And, you know, so school's starting. And so there's all kinds of um, viruses and bacteria out there. There's all kinds of viruses that we don't vaccinate against. Let's talk about norovirus. <laughs> so norovirus is a vomiting and diarrhea disease. It comes on really quick. Mm. Um, you get sick. You get exposed and sick within 24 hours. It usually takes 24 hours to run through your system, uh, and you feel rotten in those 24 hours. And then, you know, you usually recover fairly quickly. Well, they call that, that is typically called the winter vomiting disease because it happens when we're inside a lot Mm -hmm. because we're, you know, just exposed to each other more. Well, it goes crazy in the schools and nursing homes. 
And you think about it in the school, if you have a little person who vomits on the floor, like, let's say, on the floor. They're on their way to the bathroom and they don't make it. Well, the first thing that everybody does is go, (gasps) and you've just inhaled all of those virus particles Mm. because they hit the floor and sprayed everywhere. So we will see lots of kids dropping from norovirus here in the next three weeks because that's what happens is we've been away from each other all summer. Now we're going to throw everybody back in together, and they're going to share things. And so we know there's always a little uptick of illness in the beginning of the school year. And, but we also know that you can prevent some of those illnesses. If you're sick, you stay at the house and uh, wear a mask. Yeah. And then you can wear a mask to prevent infection. So lots of things, you know, coughing on each other and not washing your hands properly and sneezing and rolling around with all your friends. You know, that's a good way to transmit disease. And so wear a mask, wash your hands, stay home if you're sick. The, the very simple rules that we very, just need to have common sense follow. That's right. Very com- very simple rules. Get good at washing your hands. It'll make a difference in how sick you become. Very good. Kathy, anything else that we need to know about? I don't think so. Right. Um, look for us at the open houses. I know we're going to be at, let's, no, I, I think tonight might be the last one we're going to go to the extension office. And so if you didn't get a chance to stop by and talk with us, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call. Uh, our number is 859-734-4522, and we're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 430. Okay, and then while the renovation is going on, please just stay in your cars if you're going to get the shots. Right, and when you show up for your appointment, you can call and let us know that you're here, and they can take care of the paperwork over the phone, and then we'll just call. We'll come and get you when it's time to come in uh, because there isn't going to be much space to sit down inside and wait. Okay. Do you you happen to have... A, a sign with the phone number just kind of sitting outside for people as they drive through? We do. So okay, there are 12 parking places that have that are numbered. Okay. And they have the phone number right oh, on the sign. Perfect. And yeah, so when you come in, like for your COVID shot, yeah. you pull into a parking place, you call and say, hey, Kathy, I'm in parking place number three. I'm here for my COVID shot. So Good stuff. Yep. Yeah, it has worked wonderfully. So, um we're, and like I said, we'll do that for our Friday clinics, and we'll do COVID shots, and whenever we get the flu shot, we'll get that up and rolling too. Um, and if you're here for a scheduled appointment, go ahead and call and let us know you're here. Um, and, and so we, it'll be easier just to come and get you from the car when we're ready and, and escort you back to the back without, you know, letting you get hit by falling debris. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome. Have a great week. You Rick. too. All right. Bye bye. That's Kathy Aiken from the Mercer County Health Department. Here's Joe with the News Department, 836. This is a Hometown Radio Network information update. The sounds of school fill the air here in central Kentucky as five area schools head back today, meaning most kids are back in school in some form or fashion beginning today in our area. Boyle County, Danville Christian Academy, Garrett County, Mercer County, and Lincoln County all welcome back students for their 2022-23 school year today. Casey County will open up tomorrow. Danville opens up a week from today. Last week was a busy one for the city of Danville just simply because of the number of boil water advisories they had to issue. From July 29th through August the 4th, the city of Danville issued five different boil water advisories, and now the city wants to make sure you know if and when there's a boil water advisory in your area. While the city does always put these on Facebook, not everyone is on Facebook, so know that there are multiple ways that you can find out about boil water advisories. First, customers can visit the city of Danville website, That's DanvilleKY.org, where notifications are displayed at the top of the page. Secondly, you can sign up for Civic Ready Alerts from Boyle County's website. That's BoyleCountyKY.gov. Or you can check alerts on the City of Danville's app and click on the City website. And as always, if you have questions, contact the Danville Water Treatment Plant at 238-1241. I'm Joe Mathis. 
Farmers National Bank has been helping local businesses since 1879. We offer checking accounts to fit your business's needs. Farmers National Bank accounts have many free services, and we can help your business save money and grow. Call us at 866-888-0220 and ask for Blake Mason, who can give you a free review. Farmers National Bank, your lifetime bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We're so excited, nice weather's here, and we're going to wet our plants. <laughs> Buddy Beaver here, mulch to go, now has rock to go. Yes, we've been busy little beavers and expanded to add landscape, rocks, and topsoil compost to more. We have a wide selection to choose from in both bulk and bags. Stop by mulch to go for your landscape needs from pine nuggets, pine straw, cedar, cypress, and playground chips, too. mulch to go opens at 9 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Call 325-5858. They're located in Harrodsburg on the corner of 127 and Beaumont Avenue across from the old Spirit Chevrolet dealership. Here are the obituaries. Kathy Ann Murphy, age 57, of Lawrenceburg, died Tuesday. A memorial service is planned for a later date. Saffle House Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Victor Colin Schwartz, age 64, of Harrodsburg, died Friday. He was a veteran of the United States Army. A gathering of friends and family will be Thursday from 5 until 7 at Rainsdale Funeral Chapel. In those today's obituaries on AM 1420 and 99.5 FM, WHBN. The Harrisburg Mercer County Tourist Commission is excited to officially launch their new app, Visit Mercer County KY. The app showcases all the great restaurants, lodging opportunities, events, and things to do in Mercer County. Harrisburg Mercer County Tourist Commission have teamed up with Visit Widget and 101 Business Solutions on creating this app to enhance your Mercer County fun and relaxation with family and friends. The Harrisburg Mercer County Tourist Commission encourages you to download the app from the Apple or Android App Store. Look for Visit Mercer County KY. Cut. Continental Refining Company is offering fuel delivery service in our area. As part of this new service, CRC is offering free tank installation for farmers, commercial, and industrial businesses with the purchase of a new tank. Available tank sizes are 550 gallons, 1,100 gallons, and 2,000 gallons. CRC is offering 0% interest for 36 months for new tank purchases. To learn more about CRC's fuel delivery services and free tank installation special, contact Trevor Hurd at 606-416-1733. 606-416-1733. Thompson Car Care Service Center in Harrodsburg, towing and repair specialist, has been family-owned and operated since 1967. Three generations and going strong, Thompson Service Center, located at 200 North Childs, specializes in all makes and models. They offer towing service 24-7. A member of AAA Services, you can trust their staff. Visit Thompson Service Center at 200 North Childs Street in Harrodsburg or call 734-9732. Get your car or truck ready for the road ahead at Thompson Service Center in Harrodsburg, 200 North Childs Street. Hey folks, this is Duke Owens, General Manager here at Cartown Kia. We have new Kias arriving daily, and I have over 20 lenders that want to approve you. So come and see us here at Cartown Kia, or look us up online at cartownkiausa.com. The Mercer County Farm Bureau Annual Meeting at Devine's Corn Maze, 623 Talmadge Mayo Road, Saturday, August 13th, 6 p.m. There'll be food trucks and truck live entertainment from B-Square. It's all free from the Mercer County Farm Bureau Annual Meeting, Saturday, August 13th, 6 p.m. $1,000 worth of door prizes, RSVP at 734-4341. Cindy from Sweets West Indian Junction City. We have over 50 cupcake flavors available, as low as a dollar each. Cookies and cupcakes every day. You can also come and get our one-of-a-kind made specialty cakes. You can go to Facebook and see my creations or visit us on our website, sweetsbycindy.com. Our hours are Tuesday through Friday from 9 to 6, Saturday 9 to 1. So come on over and get your sweet on at Sweets by Cindy in Junction City on West Shelby Street or call me at 859-374-5005. It's here. It's open. It's what you need to get through your day. It's Starbucks, now in Harrodsburg, located at the Campbellsville University behind the clock tower. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Starbucks, it's the coffee for connoisseurs and the comfort for your daily tours. Starbucks in Harrodsburg. Need a rapid test for COVID-19, strep, or flu? Come to Real Health Primary Care in Danville. Walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30 in the Southland Plaza, 975 Houstonville Road. Same-day appointments. Call 209-2331. 209-2331. 
The WHBN weather forecast is brought to you by Silver Star Gun and Ammo in Harrodsburg. They buy, sell, or trade. Silver Star Gun and Ammo in Harrodsburg, across from the Mercer County Library on Lexington Street. We've got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1. Some of the storms could produce some heavy rain, mostly cloudy, with a high of 82. 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight, mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall amounts between a quarter and half an inch possible. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. Gradually becoming sunny, high of 82. Partly cloudy tomorrow night, low of 63. Sunny Friday, high of 79. Right now, we have fair skies, 72 degrees in Harrodsburg at 843 and a half. Now, I'm going to... Uh-oh. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to do this now. Is this Rockin' Robin? It is Rockin' Robin. Well, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm pretty good. And I hope all of our children are doing well today because oh. they're starting back to school. Yes, and uh, traffic, everybody needs to keep that in mind. That's Allow right. a little extra time here because this seems like the first week or so parents like to you know, take the kids to school and just check in yes. and, you know, that type of thing. So. Yes, just get everybody settled and yes. used to the routine. Yep. And Especially the new gonna, ones. <laughs> yeah, we'll be so ha- happy for them to settle in and our teachers will be glad for all of the help and education they give to the children. That's just a really special group of people. Yep. So, and do you know what today is? What special day today is besides going back to school in Mercer County? Well, it, it's uh, get to talk to Rock and Robin Day. That's a oh, special day. Boy, you, you are really on top of things. <laughs> but just in case you need something to sweeten your day, yes. it is National S'mores Day. Oh, yeah. Remember making s'mores? Or yes. Did you, Make those over yes. the uh-huh. campfire or something. Sure did. Delicious, delicious, yeah. and messy, but very good. So, and you know what? You could probably come down to the library and find a recipe book that would help you out to make your s'mores. And and a, a report you could look at. It's also Smithsonian Day. Smith. Ooh, I like that one too. Yeah. yeah. Find out a little bit more about that. Yes. What? A, that's a wonderful trip to get to go to D.C. and take in those different museums there, especially in yes. the Smithsonian, such an interesting-looking building. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. That's terrific. So, And there's all sorts of things going on around here. Um, you know, uh, this coming Friday night is Friday night on Main, and yeah. the library is going to be there. Uh, we'll have lots of games that kids can stop by and play or adults. It doesn't matter. Just stop by and say hello and see what else we've got to share with you. And that's this Friday night, and we'll be glad to see folks. And we've really got a pretty busy week this week. Um, for those people who are history-minded and genealogy research-minded, this coming Saturday, David Kirkpatrick, our assistant director, is doing a workshop on how to research naturalization records. That's an interesting topic, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, sure Have is. you ever wondered where some of your relatives came from and you know all those things could be really interesting <laughs> so that's david will be hosting that in our meeting room and he's got i think three different speakers lined up so it should be quite a wonderful event so that's this coming saturday at two o'clock i believe is the date on that very good yeah and i tell you i've got some staff members that are just really really busy one of those is caleb conover he has a display out and It's to encourage gardening and thinking about the joys of gardening. And he has a display of seed packets. And they're not just a display. You can select some of the seed packets and take home and plant them and grow on things of your own. Hmm. Um, And he has literature there. And then he'll be following it up on August the 18th at noon. They're having a lunch meeting, and I think there's going to be some folks from... Um, the extension office, and that will be fun to have lunch and talking about seeds and other good foods that you can make with what you grow. So um, keep that in mind, too, for August the 18th. And don't want to forget August the 13th, which that's this Saturday. Can you believe that? All these dates no. just come up so quickly. But this Saturday is what we're calling a wrap-up for our summer reading program. Now, notice we said summer reading program. Mm -hmm. You never 
wrap up your reading. You just keep reading. But we're going to have some events out in the parking lot, which means that in the afternoon by 4 o'clock, what we call the book drop entrance, that's the entrance closest to the post office, that will be blocked off because that's where we're going to have the majority of the activities. But if you're coming down Charles Street, you can pull right into the parking lot from there. But we'll have games, we'll have food, and folks really look forward to prizes. Oh, yeah. So that happens this Saturday afternoon from 4 to 6. And we hope we'll all have a big time with that. So, And, of course, we're always here, you know, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. No, excuse me, Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5. And new books are coming in, you know, each day. And as soon as we get them processed, we put them on the new shelf. And you can sort of browse there first, and that makes them a little bit more limited. And you can see what is actually new to the collection before they get eventually shelved on the shelf. So, but we've got some good staff members that are very willing to help you find whatever you like, even if you come in and you go, you know, I don't know anything fun to read. You know, what do you suggest? They are good at suggesting all sorts of things and helping you, helping you discover a new author. So keep that in mind, too. And uh, remind everybody about the fines, where, where you're at right there with the book fines, late okay. fees. We do not charge fines. We have given that up, and we hope that that would be an incentive for people to still bring their items back and know that they don't have to pay. Um, and speaking of not paying, you know, we've also changed our, our, our rates on photocopying. It's 10 cents a page, or 10 cents a side, I should say. If you print it double side, it's going to be a 20 cent page. But we used to charge, you know, if you got the 11 by 17, that used to cost more. The 8.5 by 14 used to cost more. But every size is the same, 10 cents a side that you print on. So that's something good. And, oh, you mentioned those fines. Yeah. If you have your book out for too long in the mail, you will get a bill for it. Now, don't panic if you get a bill. Get the book in your hand with the bill and come on down to the library and say, here it is, I'm bringing it back. And that's no, that's what we want you to do. So somebody else can check it out. And again, you do not have to pay fines. We just need the book. After a certain period of time, though, if you still have not brought the book back, what that means is we stop your account. You can't check out until you bring that book back. Or the worst-case scenario is that you have to pay to replace the book. And we don't like those things no, to happen. No. We really don't. And remind people that, you know, you can put things in the book drop. And, um, you know, we check the book drop several times a day. And we bring the books in and then take them, scan them, and take them off of your your account. So, and speaking of book drop, I'm not sure of the exact date, but we are going to be switching out the old book drop. Those of you that use that, you will notice that there's been some rust on there for quite a while. Yeah. And that's been here for, oh my goodness, that book drop has been there for 11 years. Wow. So we're replacing it with a new one, and it's a little bit bigger, um, but it will hold more books, and it's still going to, to you all, it's going to look the same, um, and you'll just drive through, roll your window down, and if you're short like me, you may have to reach a little bit higher and stick it in, but um, it'll be there to help you bring your books back. Very good. So, yes. So... We're just waiting for everybody to come. Oh, let me tell you one more thing, sure. though, Rick. We have had um, a group that uh, does prime time, and we talk about books. And it's for children and their family. And one of the activities that they did a couple of weeks ago is they each got a little canvas and some paint, and they were to paint a picture from the book called The Big Orange Splat and we have those on display. They are so clever. It's in the children's section. Just as you walk in, you can see all these about seven or eight little pictures that the children have done. 
Miss Short has it fixed with a photograph of the child, and then there's their painting right below that. And so these are our maybe our up and coming artists right here from Mercer County. There you go. That's something fun to see. Yeah. yeah. So and there's also a display that she has. Um, there's another. Oh, one of my words are leaving me right now, but it's where the veterans get to do the trip to Washington, D.C. Oh, and um, we have some note cards there that you and some photographs of two of our Mercer County people that will be on the September flight. And you can take those note cards, just jot down a special note to them, put them in the box, and we'll mail them so that they get oh. those notes when they get off of the flight at Bluegrass Airport in September. That is cool. Isn't that cool? Yes. I have a special friend. That he's not from Mercer County. He's from uh, Scott County, and he gets to be on that flight. Oh. So oh. I just, I, they're from, you know, several people, or Scott, you know, I think it's almost a whole charter flight. So it's many veterans. You know, you could be yeah. World War II, Vietnam, you know, Desert Storm, whatever. And they get a trip, a one-day trip. Can you imagine what a whirlwind trip that would yeah, be? Yeah, really. So we're all we're always proud that somebody from Mercer County can participate. So come check that out too. Both of those last two things, the children's art exhibit and the veterans display, are in the children's area. Okay, very okay. good. All right. Well, thank you thank so much you, for Robin. letting us share. You sure appreciate it. All right. You have a good week, and we look forward to talking again next Wednesday. All right. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There goes Rockin' Robin from the Mercer County Library. It's 854 and a half. You're getting it on WHBN AM and FM. Better dental experience, Dr. Jennifer Nichols' goal is always to provide each and every patient with the very best dental care in the most genuine and caring manner possible. Their office is a friendly atmosphere that will immediately put your family at ease. Their professional staff will help you feel welcome and comfortable every time you enter their office as they strive to provide the highest standard of personalized dental care in a gentle and efficient way. For an appointment, visit Dr. Jennifer Nichols. She's on North College Street. Call 734-5111. See how different a dental experience can be with Dr. Jennifer Nichols. Good service is just as important as quality. And at B&L Jewelers, you get both competitive prices and exceptional service for every customer. Find the perfect bridal and engagement rings. Or better yet, B&L Jewelers will help you custom design your rings so that you can create something unique to express your love. We carry fine jewelry and watches, including Citizens and Bulaba. Or we can special order whatever you need. We also buy gold and silver. And we offer six months layaway with no fees we do all our jewelry repairs in-house so stop in today for a free jewelry cleaning and diamond inspection on the corner of houstonville road and highway 150 in the danville manor shopping center online at bnljewelers.com find us on facebook You've done the research, invested the money, and bought a new vehicle. Don't stop there. Now protect it with a Line-X bed liner and value guard undercoating. This is Tim with your locally owned Line-X of Danville at 935 Stanford Road. Stop by or call us at 859-209-4033 and ask how we can protect your new purchase. Pioneer Playhouse is Kentucky's oldest outdoor theater, and it's right here in Danville. Don't miss our 73rd season, Under the Stars. That's right, Heather. The fun continues at Pioneer Playhouse with a free concert. Friday, August 19th at 8 p.m., Rock and Soul with Horns by Power Play, performing your favorite hits of the 60s, 70s, and beyond. Free, August 19th, starting at 8. Then it's Latin Night with No Rules Banda, August 20th. $12 cover featuring funky, romantic, hot, dancing, happy feet music. No Rules Banda, Saturday, August 20th. At 8 p.m., $12 cover charge. In case of light rain, shows will continue outdoors. Please bring your raincoat. Pioneer Playhouse is located at 840 Stanford Road in Danville, Kentucky. Reservations must be made online or by calling the box office. For no rules, Bonda. Go to pioneerplayhouse.com or call 859-236-2747 for tickets. When the sun goes down, the stars come out at Pioneer Playhouse. Hello, everybody. This is country music artist, <laughs> star, Alex Miller. I love my country music, and you'll love the country music radio Rick Spins weekday morning, 6 till 10 a.m. On FM 99.5 WHBN, The Rooster. To love in arms. I'm accustomed to ladies' charms 
You know I didn't just ride into town You might say I've been around I've seen the fire in lovers' eyes I've seen the lot fade in my time I didn't think that there was much I missed But let me tell you Charlie Pride, never been so loved in all of my life. You're getting it on WHB in Harrodsburg, the Rooster, your community voice since 1955, broadcasting live on AM 1420, now on FM at 99.5, World Wide Web at hometownlive.net, ckytv.net, channel 2. It's 9 o'clock. NBC News Radio, I'm Michael Kastner. Inflation is down, slowing in July to 8.5%, down from a 40 year high in June. For military veterans who are exposed to toxic burn pits while serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. Biden has called it the biggest expansion of benefits for service-connected health issues in 30 years. The average price of gas could fall below $4 a gallon before the end of the week. AAA reports today's national average price for regular is four oh one a gallon. That's a drop of two cents from yesterday. Michael Kastner, NBC News Radio. Everyone knows how beneficial therapy can be, but traditional therapy can be overwhelming, confusing, and inconvenient. When scheduling in-person therapy, it can be difficult to find the right therapist near you, and it can take weeks to get on their calendar. We knew there had to be a better way, and that's where BetterHelp began. I'm Danny, co-founder of BetterHelp Online Therapy. When Alana and I started BetterHelp in 2013, our mission was simple. Find a way to make professional therapy accessible, affordable, and convenient for everyone. BetterHelp works around your schedule and lifestyle. You can connect to a therapist by phone, video call, or even text message. You don't even have to turn on your camera if you don't feel comfortable. And if your therapist isn't the right fit, 
you can switch anytime with the click of a button because BetterHelp is designed with you in mind. See why over 2 million members have trusted BetterHelp for online therapy. Go to betterhelp.com slash healthier you and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash healthier you for 10% off your first month. This is a Hometown Radio Network information update. Tickets are officially on sale now for Norton Center for the Arts 49th show season. Norton Center announced their show lineup earlier this year, a lineup that includes three Broadway musicals, Hairspray, Chicago, and Cats, as well as country music singers Kathy Matea and Susie Boggess. One of the world's best banjo players, Bella Fleck, is also slated to come, as well as rock group Guess Who. You can get tickets at NortonCenter.com. Kentucky State Police say they're still looking for two people lost in the eastern Kentucky flooding. They've been identified as 60-year-old Vanessa Baker and 29-year-old Nancy Cundiff, both of whom were from the Lost Creek community and both whose last area of residence are on Lower River Caney Road. The death total from the flooding stands at 37, though tragic news of the death of a Knott County teenager that was helping clean up debris will move that total to 38. There is good news coming from power restoration efforts, however. Bashir said that right now there are remains about 400 customers without power. That's a number that's way down where it was at 25,000 right after the storms. And we expect sunshine later on this afternoon, and temperatures should begin to feel a little bit more comfortable, especially as we head toward the weekend. We're in the low 80s as a high today and tomorrow, but by Friday, we're in the upper 70s with lows over the weekend in the evening hours into the 50s. Reporting for the Hometown Radio Network, I'm Joe Mathis. When I count my blessings, I think of my beautiful Smoky Mountains, the place that connects us. And I think of Dollywood, where nature's beauty, fun, music, and laughter bring us together. (laughs) Soar on world-class rides, taste award-winning recipes, and play in the great outdoors. Splash and play all summer with a two-park super pass. Details at Dollywood.com. Dollywood. Love every moment. One of the most trusted names in jewelry is B&L Jewelers. For years, we've been helping you and your neighbors say, I love you, happy anniversary, even here's something just because. Tell her you love her with a diamond from B&L Diamond Jewelers. Make her stop and think of the love you both share. Nothing allows you to celebrate the special moments in life like a diamond. Diamonds are the only gift in the whole world that will never fade away with time. They will not rust away and does not require any special care to maintain its brilliant beauty. Diamonds are forever, and 30 years from now, she will still remember that moment when you gave her that diamond no other gifts can keep giving like a diamond for years to come stop in for a free jewelry cleaning and inspection and say hello love gets better at bnl jewelers located in the danville manor shopping center love gets better with bnl jewelers the WHBN weather forecast is brought to you by Coel Collision Center in Danville on Lebanon Road. After a wreck, tell the tow truck driver to take your vehicle to the experts. Coel Collision Center. We got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms after one. Some of the storms could produce some heavy rain. Mostly cloudy, high of 82. 50 50 shot of showers and thunderstorms tonight. Mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall mass between a quarter and half an inch possible. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, gradually becoming sunny, high of 82. Partly cloudy Thursday night and a low of 63. Sunny on Friday, high of 79. Sunny Saturday, high of 80. Mostly sunny Sunday, high of 80. Scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday, partly sunny, high of 79. Scattered showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, partly sunny, high of 81. Right now, we have partly sunny skies, 74 degrees in Harrodsburg at 907. Good Wednesday hump day to you. It's the 10th day of August. Radio Rick, glad to have you along on WHBN AM and FM and the World Wide Web at hometownlive.net, ckytv.net, channel 2. All right, so there we go. Uh, birthdays, anniversaries, road situations, and song requests can be done. 859-734-4321. Same number for the DQ ice cream cake. We got Daphne Massey, Adele Greenberg, Haley Peyton Baker, and Steve Watts all registered for the DQ ice cream cake giveaway. They have a birthday between the 8th and the 14th. I just need a name and a number. Birthday, speaking of which, Rusty Rothwell, Katie Lay, Charlie Parks, 
Paul Lee Grayson, Rebecca Allier, Ali Sebastian. I don't know if Sarah Steele's got a birthday or not, but we'll find out right now, won't we? Is it Sarah Steele's birthday? It is not, but it's oh. actually my son's birthday. Oh, <laughs> well, what's his name? Um, I've got two twins, Isaac oh. and Silas Steele. <laughs> Isaac. And then yes. Uh huh. And what's it, what's the other one's name? Silas. Silas. Steele. Okay. And, and yesterday was Big Brother's birthday, Landon Steele. Oh my goodness! How, how did I work that out? Right? Yeah, really? <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Well, now speaking of amazing, I can't believe Pioneer Days is going to be here next weekend already. I mean, my, right. my goodness, it's just, you know, it just seems like the fair was here. Exactly, exactly. But it's, it's exciting. There's a lot planned this year we don't want to miss. No. And and what are you involved with with Pioneer Days? Um, well, I am uh, super excited and blessed, actually, to be a part of the Pioneer Days planning committee this year. Um, there's been lots of individuals. I was amazed. I got invited to be on that this year for the first time, and I was amazed at all the individuals working hard behind the scenes to make this event happen. And, you know, it's just like with the fair. There, are, it's, it's, it's all about uh, you need a family of volunteers, and that's just like okay. with any festival. you got to have the volunteers to make it work. Yes. Um, so there, there's countless people working behind the scenes to, to make this all together. I don't know if you know, this is a special year. Um, this is the 10th year that it, um, Pioneer Days has been back up and going. Um, so it's a pretty big year. Yes, it is. 10 years back. And we're so glad it's back because I don't think we can have enough festivals where we draw people in. And, and we need that right now. We need to have uh, something to look forward to. Yes, this is kind of the event of the summer. Um, you know, it was such a tradition for a long time, so it's amazing that it has come back and it's stood its ground for 10 years, um, draws people to Mercer County, Harrisburg, and, and celebrates the history at the same time. Are you in charge or uh, involved with anything in particular? Um, well, I'm just kind of the boots on the ground, I guess you would say, helping um, plan and uh, um you know, uh, taking in applications, the the stuff behind the scenes. No, um, you know, the chamber kind of heads that up. Clay Sloan is kind of the point man, and um, you know, of course, um, David at the at the uh, Fort Herod. So yeah. I'm just kind of the the work behind the scenes. So um, I kind of have a list of keep a list of what's going to happen, and I'll be there every day to make sure and help out where they need. So. Very good. Now, now Clay said something about a dunking booth. Now, now I'm not yes. sure he meant you were going to climb in there and and. Well, I am. I Are am. you really? Well, actually, <laughs> yes. Actually, that's that's kind of my that's that was given my list of jobs to make sure that we got the dunking booth. Um, years ago at the fair, they had a dunking booth, and this year, um, there's actually going to be a lot of um, faces that people will want to come and dunk, and I I am going to climb in. I'll be in Friday night. <laughs> well, um, very good. But we have. Some of the police officers and oh. sheriff's department, several sheriff's department um, deputies are going to be in. A fireman, Harrisburg City Fire Department, a few firemen are going to be in there. Local principals, so, oh. um, you know, Mercer's um, high school principal, um, also Bergen's high school principal. They'll want to come and dunk them. Um, Kelly O'Dell from the middle school, she's volunteered. She's going to jump in and let those kids dunk her, so... It should be exciting. <laughs> oh, a lot of fun. And that's going to be happening uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Is that correct? Um, the Duncan booth is just Friday and Saturday. Okay. Yeah. But the, the Pioneer so, Days itself yes. will be th will be it's Friday, all, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Actually, there's going to be a few uh, sneak peeks on Thursday. Oh. Um, the, the encampment will be set up. Um, there's going to be some yoga during the day um, just to get things kicked off. Um on um, Thursday at 11, the yoga, there's going to be some cornhole, and there's actually going to be a band Thursday night at 8 p.m. just to kind of play as people are setting up, kind of low-key. Yeah. But kickoff for um, Pioneer Days is scheduled for 5 p.m. on Friday, August 19th. Okay. So that's the official kickoff. Very good. Well, Sarah Steele, yeah. thank you so much for stopping yeah. in and talking about Pioneer Days. It, uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, well, we're looking forward to it, and we hope everybody comes out and joins in on the fun. There will be fun for everyone, all ages. There you go, fun for everyone. I like that one. Yes. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Rick. All right. All right. Bye-bye.
Sarah Steele from Pioneer Days. Clay Rocky Sloan's coming up. When next? Watson's Tractor 2, your local Kubota equipment dealer, wants to help you deliver a job done right. That's why they want you to know that the new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. They have the reliability and durability and versatile lineup to help you do it all. Visit Lawson's Tractor 2 today for all your equipment needs. Lawson's Tractor 2, four miles south of Danville on Highway 127, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. Lawson's Tractor 2. Huddle House in Harrodsburg is now open and ready to serve up real good homestyle food. At Huddle House, eat what you like, any meal, at any time. Try the MVP breakfast choice of Applewood smoked bacon, country sausage, turkey sausage, two eggs, crispy hash browns, golden waffle, old-fashioned buttermilk pancake. Your choice of homestyle grits, toast or biscuit, sausage, gravy, $9.89. Try the mega bacon cheeseburger on a toasted brioche bun for $9.89. Huddle House in Harrodsburg is now open and ready to serve you and now hiring. Hello? Guess who went out last night? You went out last night? Well, I got hot and worked up, but I'm not the one who went out. It was my air conditioner. I know just the person for you to see. Hensley's Heating and Air. Hensley's Heating and Air? Yes, give them a call right now. What's the number? 859-336-3965. 336-3965. Hensley's Heating and Air. Quick, timely service. 859-336-3965. This is Jason Tyler, loan officer at Whitaker Bank in Harrodsburg. Communication is key. That has always been my motto. Communicating with my customers, finding the best rate, and keeping my customer informed during the entire loan process is something that you can count on. Call me today at 859-734-3316 and let Whitaker Bank help you with your lending needs. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Garth Brooks here. Stay happy and strong and keep your radio dial right here all year long. Well, I'll tell you what. It doesn't get no better than this. We go from Garth Brooks to Clay Rocky Sloan. It it just don't get any better, does it, Rocky? Hello, Rocky. Hey, oh, radio hey. Rick, this is Kim Anderson. Hey, I Kim. I Clay's phone. Oh, okay. You, you've uh, commandeered his phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah, he knows I have it, but oh. he's not doing anything to get it back. Okay, yeah, that's good. You check out all the messages and, and, and photos and stuff, you know, while you're in there. I plan to, but don't tell him I did. Oh, no, I will never say that Kim Anderson's on Clay Rocky Sloan's phone and, and looking at it. Not you, Nobody could make me say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kim, talk about Pioneer Days. I can't believe we talked to Sarah Steele. And next weekend, next uh, well, the, the preview Thursday, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Full force, a lot of fun for everyone. Yes, it will absolutely be fun for everyone. And the Kiwanis Club of Harrodsburg is going to be there in uh, with a huge representation. We are hosting the annual Kiwanis Quest race. And it's kind of uh, just like the amazing race that you see on TV, yeah. except it's, it's sized down to Harrodsburg and teams of two can run around Harrodsburg and compete in challenges at different businesses. And they will, these businesses will be all over town and uh, the race will be on to see who, what team can come in first, second or third place. Okay. And we always have, we also have best team uh, that's beside first, second and third place. And first place can win over a thousand dollars in cash and prizes. Ooh. Uh, second place is over six hundred dollars in cash and prizes. I'll take it. And third is over three hundred. I'd even take that. Prizes. Yeah, oh, I know, wow. right? <laughs> and best team, best team can win over three three hundred dollars in cash and prizes as well. So we're giving away some money. It costs yeah. thirty five dollars per team to okay. get to be in the race. All right. Uh, you can. Ha- you need to be fifteen or older. And uh, if you're fifteen, you can bring someone who's eighteen or older and who can drive. And, uh, and because there will be some driving involved, registration will be at 9 a.m. inside of Fort Herod. Okay. That is where the game will start. People can just come over and find our tent, and we'll start the game there. And they can fill out the registration between 9 and 10. And then at 10 o'clock, we'll start the race, and we'll go from there. And it's going to be a lot of fun. How many people on a team? Is there a limit? Two, two people per team. Okay. So grab a friend, grab a husband, grab, grab a wife, grab someone come out it'll be super fun uh we've had we've had uh parents and kids before come out and compete with each other uh we've had you know best friends come out 
two guys. It doesn't matter. We'll take everyone. You know, I used to be in the Kiwanis over in Danville, and they are such a great group of, of nice people uh, doing great things, giving back to the community. The thing I, that I enjoyed most about Kiwanis was uh, when we had the uh, Christmas presents that we would get that we would have the uh, Boyle, Danville, and KSD. We would get with the schools and find out the kids that wouldn't have much of a Christmas that we would uh, go and have uh, fundraisers, and then that money would go. We would go buy Christmas presents for these kids and wrap them up and then have Santa there, and they would come out and have a lunch and. I just thought that was so cool. It's, again, it's one of the one of the many cool things that Kiwanis clubs do. Yeah, we we have a really great club, a lot of great, amazing members who uh, who really have that heart to serve the, the kids in Mercer County. So um, we're growing. We're adding uh, partnerships with other organizations every month. Just about it seems like somebody's coming in new that wants to do something with us. So we're growing and we're we're really serving the the kids in the community well. And and I appreciate you, um, you know, making that uh, talking to me about that as well. Well, Kim, if somebody is, wants some more information about Kiwanis or maybe even would consider to join, how do they go about that? Well, as of right now, I'm the serving president, and they can reach out to me personally. Um, I don't care to give out my cell phone number. If somebody wants to call, it's 859-319-2991, and they can reach out to me. I also work at First Financial Bank in Harrodsburg, right across from Fort Herod, and they can stop in if they want to, you know, just ask some questions about Kiwanis, and I love talking about it because it's such an amazing program. Well, very good. We thank you for coming on. I, now, I don't know if uh, Clay wants to uh, talk or not, but um, I think I need to do this. I did not realize you were the president. That is awesome. That is exactly how I should be treated. Yeah, see, the, the, you know, the dignity of your robes it, when you walk in. You should be able to have that and hear that going on. I agree. I love it. I think it's great. <laughs> President Kim Anderson of the Harrodsburg Kiwanis. Hey, thank you for joining us this morning. And uh, I, I think you need to run because you get to talk to another station we know about. Oh, okay. That's not, that sounds great. Thank okay. you, Radio Rick, for hey. having me on. I appreciate you guys. Not a problem. Thank you, President. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. President Kim Anderson of the Harrodsburg Kiwanis. Oh, Tears me up when you go all to pieces Your crying eyes say you've been hurt enough Trying hard don't always make it easy Cause hearts aren't made to break They're made to love Lately all I do is think about you It's weighing like a stone inside my mind And I know I've taken you for granted And left your heart hanging on the line Oh, it tears me up when you go Crying eyes say you've been hurt enough Trying hard don't always make it easy Cause hearts aren't made to break They're made to love Your love is finally getting to me I can't believe the things I've done And still you're standing here beside me The fool and the faithful one Oh, it tears me up when you go all to pieces You're crying, I say Oh, heart.
Hearts aren't made to break, they're made to love. Reba McIntyre, starting over again. And Lee Greenwood stopped by to sing, Hearts Aren't Made to Break, They're Made to Love. It is coming up on 927. Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, scheduled to call after the news at 930 WHBN. Black tops burning, heat waves rise. Pick up my shovel, put my back to the ground. Got another job at Flagstaff, but this one's paid. I work the freeway that pays all right, but I can't get you off my mind. Cause every stretch of highway 
ends the same. says one more mile to go the last one always goes so slow if I could just turn off my mind I'd be all right but I keep wondering what went wrong who's holding you now that I'm gone there's not a minute that goes by you Don't cross my mind All roads lead to you I thought I could forget But it's no use Your memory is there Wherever I go Whatever I do All roads lead to you getting to me I think I see you in every car that passes by no way around it I'll always love you and if you Steve Warner, all roads lead to you. Our news road is up next, and then we'll check in with Lieutenant Governor after the weather forecast. This is the Kentucky News Network. Kentucky's U.S. Senator Rand Paul wants COVID-19 money to go towards Eastern Kentucky flood recovery efforts. After touring a relief center in Hazard, the Kentucky Republican said he's requesting that unspent COVID funds be used for rebuilding in areas where a disaster has been declared. They're talking about a lot of water problems and a lot of water systems that need repair. I think that emergency money, the president should give them a waiver because they have some money that's already been sent for COVID that they may think the water system's more pressing right now than testing for COVID. Paul also plans on introducing legislation to allow any state, city, or county to use its COVID funds for disaster response. I'm Haley Hansen. One third of Kentucky adults believe that the COVID-19 pandemic is over. That's according to a new poll by the nonprofit Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky. Ben Chandler is with that foundation. I mean, it ought to be clear to everybody just by going out in public that a sizable percentage of the people in Kentucky are behaving as if the as if the pandemic is over and and that's what the poll shows. The poll also found that about half of Kentucky adults believe that the pandemic is over as it pertains to their personal lives and twice as many men as women believe that the pandemic is over. Meanwhile, state medical experts still say from our standpoint I remind people it's not over. Uh, continue to protect yourselves, continue to um, take care of your family and take care of those you, you love and, and wear masks and wash your hands and get a vaccine. That's Dr. Jason Smith of U L Health in Louisville. And the University of Kentucky men's basketball team begins its preseason tour of the Bahamas today. Tip off in their first game is tonight at 7 o'clock. I'm Jeff Milby. This is the Kentucky News Network. The WHB weather forecast is brought to you by Horn Home Supply, a trusted name for quality service and a fair price. For over 40 years, see Matt Horn at Horn Home Supply in Harrodsburg, South College Street. We've got a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before noon and a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1. Some of the storms could produce some heavy rain. Be careful out there. Mostly cloudy with a high of 82. 
50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms tonight. Mostly cloudy, low of 69. New rainfall amounts between a quarter and half an inch possible. Mostly cloudy on Thursday. Gradually becoming sunny, a high of 82. Partly cloudy Thursday night, a low of 63. Sunny on Friday, high of 79. Right now under partly sunny skies, we have 75 degrees in Harrodsburg at 932 and a half. Now joined, thankfully, by our Lieutenant Governor, Jacqueline Coleman. Good morning, Lieutenant Governor. Good morning. How are you? I, I am doing well, and I'm going to warn the listeners, like I warned you, that I'm, I've got a sick toddler with me today, so bear with me. <laughs> oh, not, not a problem. I was going to ask how, how Miss Evelyn was doing, but uh, well, other than just being sick today. Yeah, she's doing great. It's just the typical kind of getting used to daycare type of stuff. So, right, uh, right. She, she's just, um, you know, growing and two and a half months, or sorry, two and a half years old now. And wow. Running the roost. My goodness. Well, uh, a lot has gone on since last time we talked, unfortunately, and um, you have seen the devastation for yourself in eastern Kentucky. Lieutenant Governor, you've been through the tornadoes in western Kentucky, now eastern Kentucky, the flooding. Give us a, a little bit of what you've seen and, and, and some of the reactions to the people and, and what's going on, actually. Yeah, it, it is um, It is so completely devastating, and you know, but both the, we find ourselves, I think, comparing West Kentucky tornadoes to East Kentucky flooding, and uh, there are a lot of similarities, but there are a lot of differences too. And so, um, you know, number one, what I just keep hearing from from folks there is that the rain came so fast, and it was in the middle of the night, and so by the time they had the you know the warning that this was coming, it was already in their house. Mm, um, wow. And so it was just almost like people had nowhere to go. And so, you know, there were there were the fortunate folks that were able to to get out and get to higher ground uh, before their house flooded. There are other folks who weren't and had to be rescued by um, either. I'll tell you, there were a lot of neighbors on uh, their own boats and kayaks. Um, Representative Angie Hatton is from Whitesburg, and she was on her kayak. Uh, going from house to house rescuing people. Wow. They were cutting um, holes in roofs and pulling people out that way. Um, and everything from that, uh, neighbors helping neighbors, to us calling in the National Guard and KST, and they, and they conducted over 1,300 rescues, um, wow. air rescues, uh, boat rescues. It, 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 was, it was remarkable to see people there for each other and to see what people who had lost everything were willing to do for someone else that they cared about, even though they were in, in their moment of need as well. And so, of course, you know, um, the, the death toll currently is at 37, although we believe it's going to be 38 because, and this is pretty, this is as tragic as the rest of it, a high school senior, um, junior, sorry, a high school junior from Knott County, uh, was helping with the cleanup efforts and um, ha- ha- we believe uh, has died as a result of that. Oh. Um, so that the, you know, the autopsy and things like that will, will come out and confirm it, but um, we're afraid the number might actually be 38 now because of that young man. Wow. Unbelievable. You know, you mentioned yeah. about KSP. My uh, stepdaughter's husband is a cadet with KSP, and they went up last week, and he came home for the weekend was telling us just – he was just covered in mud, and they were just up doing all they could to help everybody. Yeah, it, and, you know, and that was – you know, the terrain creates its own kind of challenge in the mountains, right? Yeah. And, and uh, having to figure out how to get to people was another challenge. And then the, the um, another one was the fact that the water didn't recede <laughs> – as quickly as it came down. And so it, it was a lot of hurry up and wait um, in terms of getting as many people out as you can. There are still two confirmed missing from uh, Letcher County. No, I'm sorry, Breathitt County, two confirmed women that are missing. And KST has put out a missing person's report with their description. Um, but I, I'm telling you, when the, those officers and the National Guard risked their lives to save people who otherwise would not have made it. It, right. it really is one of the most 
I think all inspiring things about about Kentucky and about this this terrible situation. And just like in the West, I said, you know, the only thing that rivals the devastation is is the way that people have rallied together. Um, and that is as heartwarming as the damage is heartbreaking. I know I was watching a, a TV report and there was, I think the lady was 98 years old. She was sitting in her house and you could see the water. Yeah. It was rising up and she didn't want to leave. But fortunately, the, the story ended well. They got her and everyone else, the family members out. But she just did not want to give up her house because I think she knew, you know, it's it just not you're not going to be able to go back there in that house again. Right, and and the the lady that you're talking about is from Lester County. She was ninety, or she is ninety nine years 99. old. Ninety nine. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's and unbelievable. That's, you know, that's hard too. Is when you see, I mean, the, the, yes, they're they're structures and they can be replaced, but the, the this is what people have worked their whole lives to build and and to make a home, and so. Uh, many of them will tell you they're fortunate to have made it and they're lucky that they have their lives and they can rebuild everything else. But at the same time, whether you're grieving a family member or a friend um, or the the home that you that you have made for however long you've worked to build it, um, that there's a lot going to be a lot of a lot of trauma, um, both in the West and the East, as people continue to rebuild their lives and relive these moments. And it's it's. It's it's sad to think about how long this is actually going to take. Just watching on TV, you don't really get the feel. It doesn't seem real when you see the water and you see it rising up and above how it just picks up uh, ambulances. It picks up cars, uh, uh, pushes houses around and trailers. It It's just devastating to, like you said, people work their whole life to build yeah. something, their lives. And, yeah, they can build stuff back, but a lot of memories are going to be gone and lost, too. Absolutely. And we, we were, when the president visited, um, I think it was a couple of days ago now, um, he uh, came, went and visited a, a couple of locations where families had lost homes and things like that. And at one point we were standing in a location. And when I looked around, I realized it was the, found, it was the foundation of a home. And they pointed out that the home had floated down um the, with the floodwaters up against the embankment yeah. and was probably 300 yards away. It just, it blows your mind to think that, that something like water yeah. can do that. But when, when they tell you to, the stories about how fast it came down and, um, you know, in, in the, in the dead of night, no less, um, it kind of makes a little bit more sense. That's the scary part because it seems like a lot of times when we get bad weather, it's at night when you can't see what's coming, and and it and is with the tornado, right? You know, yeah, yeah, it, it's it's just horrible, and that's why there. I know people probably are tired of hearing this, but there is a reason that there is a saying: "Turn around, don't drown." Yes. Don't ever yes. try to drive through water that's you know. And and I've saw a lot of people trying to get out, and I understand that you're you know you're panicking, but then you get stuck, and then you're at the mercy of wherever that thing takes you. Exactly, you're exactly right. And it's um, you know I think most people would tell you they uh, once they figured out what was going on, um, they left the clo- they left their home with the clothes on their back, yeah, and knowing that that may be it, that may be all they have. Timing is everything, and they just mm-hmm. they just don't didn't have the time and. It's just, again, it's just it's heart wrenching to to see, but it's heartwarming to see how Kentuckians respond in times of dire need for other Kentuckians. Absolutely, it's, and I and I will tell you this: um, I have to brag on our on our schools and our school leaders and our and all of our teachers because uh, you know they they've been through a, a lot of ridicule and and, and unfair attacks. Um, over the last several years, but I'll tell you this: when communities are in need, those those doors of the school building open up, and they welcome everybody in, and they act as shelters. They act as uh, places where people can get supplies that they need. The teachers show up. There, um, I heard the superintendent told me in Floyd County, their administrators were all. They basically turned the school into a laundromat. And they were all at the school operating the washers and dryers that they had available to them and were washing clothes for people. Mm. 
Wolf County schools had no loss of life, had no one displaced, and they opened the elementary, middle, and high school gyms for a shelter for people from other communities, took them in, fed them, um, and then one of the gyms was actually a makeshift nursing home because they had proactively evacuated that, uh, knowing you know, how devastating that would be if they got caught. Um, and so at every turn, you look, and it's, it's our school, it's our school employees, it's our teachers, it's our schools that are helping people build their, rebuild their lives and piece their lives back together. And I don't think we, I think we have to remember, especially with school starting around the Commonwealth, um, you know, recently and in the next few weeks, um, we, we need to remember who shows up to help us when we're in our greatest need. Yeah, and, and, you know, for a lot of these people, you know, what's next? Where do they go? They have to try to start all over again, and that's what it is. That's what the tough part is. Absolutely. And, you know, the governor has opened up um, the three state parks in the region and are housing folks um, kind of transitionally, just like we did in the West. And what I keep hearing people say is, you know, they have a roof over their head, they're safe, they're fed all day, um, every day, and they're taken care of, uh, which is one less thing they have to worry about when they're thinking about how they're going to rebuild their lives. Just to take that burden off of families has been a huge help as they kind of transition to whatever the next steps may be as they as they um, rebuild. Lieutenant Governor, can you hang on a couple of minutes while I pay some bills? Because I want us to come back and talk about where we go from now, what they need, what we can do to help them. That would be great. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So All right. Thank you. Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman is with me this morning on WHBN AM and FM 944. She'll be back right after these. Are you looking for some bolts, belts, bearings, hydro hoses, or steel? Need some custom farm equipment welded? Stop by the new County Equipment in Lawrenceburg. On the sales road next to Wild Turkey, County Equipment East is a one-of-a-kind in farm equipment and repair. If you can't find what you're looking for here, it doesn't exist. They even got farm toys for the little buckaroos and every shape and size types of screws. Open Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30, the new County Equipment East. Check us out on Facebook, countyequipmenteast.com. If you can't find what you're looking for here, you don't need it. Hello? Hi, Miss Stevenson. Is your air conditioner running? Why, yes. Thanks to Hensley's Heating and Air, my air conditioner is running great, and I've had no more problems with it. Hensley's Heating and Air is your local source for HVAC service, so that means timely work completion and neighbors you can trust. Hensley's Heating and Air is locally owned with experienced and certified technicians to get the job done right every time. Hensley's Heating and Air, local, quick, timely service, 859-336-3965. Rumkey and Mercer County are once again teaming up to keep your neighborhood clean and green. Rumkey, the county's official trash hauler. They're pleased to offer residents weekly trash service for the low rate of $14.25 a month. Rumkey also offers a senior citizen rate of $11.40 for those residents 60 years of age and older. Sign up for service today by calling Rumkey at 1-800-828-828. 8171. That's 1-800-828-8171. And to help you get your trash to the curb, Rumkey's also proud to offer Mercer County residents 95-gallon trash carts for just $2.50 a month. Order yours today by calling Rumkey at 1-800-828-8171. 1-800-828-8171. Rumkey, a family-owned company, and they look forward to serving you. Car Express Wash. Don't drive dirty. You get sparkling clean. Shine that dirty machine. Unlimited plans, a dollar a day. Car Express Wash. Come and wash those blues away. Free back use with every wash. CarExpressWash.com. Where everybody goes. Car Express Wash. Don't drive dirty. Car Express Wash. Danville Bypass. Big Blue Building. This is Carolyn and Adeline at Mattresses and More next door to Ace Hardware on Houstonville Road in Danville. If you are looking for a new furniture or bedding, stop by and check us out. New merchandise arriving weekly and we sell off the floor. Come see our Nana for the best deal around. You'll be glad you did. Mattresses and More. More than a mattress store located in Danville. 
Phone 859-236-1646 and like them on Facebook at Mattresses and More. The new Family Wealth Group in Harrodsburg is now making appointments with you on how to get the most out of your retirement. Call a team member at 859-605-5008. We're going to open our office in Harrodsburg. Super excited to be in the community that we serve a lot of families in and a lot of companies. Our mission is real simple. It's to help the people in Kentucky. The new Family Wealth Group is located in Harrodsburg, 125 Collin Drive. Find out more at thefamilywealthgroup.com. Call 859-605-5008. Kentucky retires here. Isaiah House provides holistic substance abuse treatment to help recovering addicts achieve sobriety for a lifetime. If you're looking for treatment, if you're looking for help out there, and you're a woman, you can't do it by yourself. They will welcome you in with open arms and open hands right where you're at. Kentucky Medicaid accepted for treatment. Call Isaiah House Treatment Center today, 859-375-9200. Isaiah House Treatment Center, real hope for addiction. 948, you're getting on WHBN AM and FM. My guest is our Lieutenant Governor, Jacqueline Coleman. Lieutenant Governor, what are the needs right now? We've heard a lot of people uh, talk about clothing, but they said, I think last I heard, uh, clothing was not one of the major needs at this time. And what about people going up there to volunteer to do things? Um, you got to everybody's got to be careful uh, of you know where they're at up there because there there could be a lot of disease and stuff with the water and all. So tell us what they need and, and the situation right now. What we can do to help? Right, and so I will say this: because of the water and the and the circum, you know, the just the terrain and the circumstances. One of the things that we're making sure is that um, tetanus shots are readily available, um, so folks have that. Um, but that said, I will say that you're right. The clothing is, if you go to any of these shelters, I mean, it's 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 very heartwarming to see all of it, but also it's taking up space that they need for other things at this point because they have so much, so many clothes. And so I would say there's two primary ways that you can help. One is to volunteer. If you're able to sit with, you know, a group, maybe your church, maybe a, um, you know, a, a book club that you're a part of, your family, whatever it is, you know, hop in the car, drive down to uh, one of the towns that you know are, are in need and ask how you can help. Um, that, that would be um, a huge help to have bodies. Um, the, 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 the people that have been there uh, for so long and have worked around the clock are are wearing down and so we kind of need a we kind of need some reserves um to come in and and help sustain uh the the progress to give some of these other folks a rest if that's if that's possible for you if it's not um then one thing that i would also say is the governor has started a, a fund to raise money to help uh the folks there and i will say this the fund is uh, 100% transparent. It obviously um, is operated by us, but there will be oversight from the legislative branch um, as well. And every single penny will go to the folks on the ground who are there. There's no administrative cost, no overhead. Every penny goes directly to the folks in need, and we're able to do that. I don't know that other organizations may be starting funds, but none can tell you that. Right. Um, yeah. And so, if folks who are listening, the website is Team EKY Flood Relief Fund. KY. Gov. Um, I'm pretty sure you, at this point you could probably just Google Team Kentucky Flood and get there as well. Um, but it's Team EKY Flood Relief Fund. KY. Gov. And again, every penny goes directly to the folks who are in need because this is a long. You know, we got to be in this for the long haul. This is not a cleanup in a week and everything's fine. This is months and years of infrastructure and and rebuilding entire communities that ha- that have lost so much. So um, every dollar that we can that you can give, we can use for for the long for the long haul that that the governor has promised that we'll be here for. You know, one thing that you you hate to bring up, Governor, but it is true, unfortunately, in our world that we live in, be very careful who you're giving money to to make sure that it does get to the right people in the right place. You're exactly right. My mind doesn't work that way. And so when when 
I hear about those things, it, it surprises me, but it also infuriates me. Yeah. <laughs> because I just can't fathom that you would take it, you know, there are people that take advantage of folks who are trying to help people in their hour of need, but they're out there. So, um, you, you know, you can trust the team Kentucky fund. Right. And, um, again, I know people are, are taking like supplies. Are there uh, still great needs? I'm sure water, because obviously, uh, you know, stuff's contaminated there. What other needs, uh, uh diapers, what other, some, uh, some other things that, uh, we can give. I know a lot of churches have rallied around and, and tried to send truckloads down there, uh, but what are the other uh, critical needs, Lieutenant Governor? Right, and that's a great point. You know, you always need supplies for for babies, you know, infants and toddlers. To- whether it's diapers or you know bottles or things like that, those families need that. Um, I will also say that cleaning supplies are a huge need. Um, I've heard specifically bleach because you want to disinfect, um, you know, for the houses that can be. Um, saved you, you want to be able to disinfect everything um, as well as like things like work gloves and shovels and you know those types of things that when you think about what it would the work it would take to clean out a home those things when it comes to cleaning supplies are really needed as well just anything like that did you not now we're not talking about like food especially perishable food that's that's not what they need, but just the critical, just everyday things, just things that you can think of. If uh, God forbid something like that happened around here, what are some of the things that we here would have to have to survive and to move on? Right. That's exactly right. And, and, you know, there's the, we were through the, the majority of the res, search and rescue mission. And so now it's about stabilizing folks and making sure they have, uh, a place to live and and are have food and they're taken care of. Um, but beyond that, when you think about rebuilding, think about your own house uh, and what what you would need there. But I have to also say this: um, Mayfield, who obviously was hit by the tornado, loaded up some of their um, ambulances and fire trucks and drove from Mayfield all the way to the flood region in eastern Kentucky. Uh, to help because they said the rest of the the state was here for us. We're going to be here for them. And I just think that is, um, that's the best of us. Well, that's it's, it's going to take an an army of, of all of us, all Kentuckians pulling together in in the time of dire need. And this is another one, you know, it just makes you really be concerned. You know, here we had uh, tornadoes in Western Kentucky. We got flooding in Eastern Kentucky and I don't want to mention this, but, what happened? You know, what's next for Central Kentucky? I mean, we've been very lucky and very fortunate. We've not had any disasters, you know, really hit other than COVID. Right, and and if I've learned anything through uh, the process that we've been <laughs> been through since I've been in office, it's that you never know what's coming, um, and the best you can do is is prepare um, and and help people when they're in their need, in hour of need because. Um, you're probably going to need some help one day. And yeah. so I would just think about it. It's the, the lost art of empathy, right? Put yourself in somebody yeah. else's shoes and and be willing to, to help out. Wow. And, and this is just taking so much um, effort, so much time, uh, uh, brain cells trying to, to, you know, get this all under control everything else sort of just what's going on just kind of pales and it doesn't, you know, I, I saw an interview on TV that, that I just have to mention is at, at a person that, that was uh, in the, the flood situation. They said, you know what? We don't need Republicans. We don't need Democrats. We don't need independents. We need Kentuckians to pull together as one team. That's exactly right. You know, we, we, the governor and I have always tried to practice that um, and as, as we leave the state. And, he, you know, the, the governor always says this is not a red or blue tornado. It's not a Republican or Democrat flood. And when I was in western Kentucky and when I was in eastern Kentucky, not a single person asked me about any, um, you know, political topic or about party. Uh, they were just grateful uh, that, that people were there to help. And so I, I wish it didn't take something like this to remind us of that. But at the end of the day, our job is to help people. 
and and to help people get back on their feet and and to you know be there for the ones who need us. That's our job. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I say this about the governor he he is he is at his best in moments like these because he is such a compassionate empathetic leader who has always treated every Kentucky family like it was his own. Um, uh, he needs a break <laughs> yeah. from, from dealing with all of this. But it, I tell you, if there's any, if there's anybody who, who doubts that in, in um, their greatest need, um, leadership matters, um, then, you know, they, they, they haven't met Governor Bashir yet. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor, any final thoughts uh, that you want to leave us with or uh, anything else that, that uh, you feel like our Kentuckians need to know about? Well, so one last thing. I'll say that, um, we are still dealing with the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's still out there um, and booster shots are available, uh, readily available. And I would encourage everybody to go out and get those because we, as we found out, the latest strains of covid are um, they they affect you even if you've had COVID before? You know, normal in the last little bit, if you if you had COVID, you thought you were safe for ninety days, and that's not the case anymore. And so, um, I would just remind everybody: go do that, take care of yourselves. Um, school is starting back, and so what happens a lot of times? What happened in our situation is kids are at daycare and preschool and school, and they bring it home, and it just stifles everything in your household for days on end. And so um, the best way to combat that is to get your booster, uh, to get vaccinated. And if you're in a crowded area and and you know you're going to be in a room that's indoors and there's going to be a lot of people there, think about putting a mask on just to protect yourself and your family and and anyone else who's in the room. Um, I try to remember when I'm in crowded areas to do that. It's not always easy, but it's better to do it when you can remember than to not do it at all. That's right. Wise words. And uh, Lieutenant Governor, thank you. Thank the governor as well. Everything that everyone is doing to help Kentuckians. That's the bottom line. Thank you so much. And you're right. We're we're one team. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, my time is up. Thank you very much for your time. God bless your troops. God bless America. God bless you. God bless Ukraine. God bless those in Eastern Kentucky. May the most you want be the least you get. It's Ready, Rick. I'll be back with you tomorrow again at 6 a.m. This is WHBN Harrodsburg, The Rooster, broadcasting on AM 1420 and now FM 99.5. Now, the news. It's 10 o'clock. NBC News Radio. I'm Michael Kastner, former President Trump.